All right, we're back. Hey, how's it going, everybody? We're at one sixty four ninety eight on GameStop, up twenty bucks a share. That was easy. That was easy. Uh, how about that for a little move today? Uh, you can thank AMC. Apparently, uh, because of AMC's move today, that has infected and gotten over to the uh, GameStop site. Or so the or so the analysts are saying. Um, Happy for the movement. One way or the other, we'll take it. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond, unfortunately, is not getting any help, but uh, BlackBerry is. BlackBerry's at seven ninety eight, up three cents on the day. And this morning, BlackBerry was as low as seven seventy, so it's moved up nicely. Uh, did actually, however, reach for a moment uh, eight sixteen, eight seventeen a share. Um, so it went from seven seventy to eight seventeen, and now it's back to seven ninety eight. Um, Eleven million shares traded on on BlackBerry. But back to the uh, point at hand: GameStop one sixty five forty six, and AMC at thirteen thirty eight, and it broke fourteen dollars briefly today. The word is out: the company AMC uh, did issue forty odd million shares, as they had said they would, and they raised four hundred. <clears throat> and some odd million, four hundred twenty-eight million dollars. So they've diluted themselves uh, again, as they said they were going to. The market took this as a positive, uh, as far as AMC investors were concerned, because it gives them another four hundred something million dollars to bank on um, and to s survive longer on. And the hope now is with today's announcement, with the uh, masks being uh, um, allowed to not. Let me rephrase it. CDC is saying you cannot, you don't have to wear your mask uh, if you've been inoculated. Um, so the thinking then is, of course, you put one and one together and figure, well, that means AMC can open up their theaters and you know run movies, and we have an opening economy here. Um, yes and no, depending on what geographic area you're in, what state you're in, what city you're in. But yes, that th there's good news there. There's good news there. And the market is running with the good news. So let's leave it at that. 167 on GameStop right now as it is approaching its high today, which is 167.39, if I recall. Yep, yeah, we're 39 cents away from the high today, up $22 a share on GameStop. Uh, it's up 15% right now, GameStop is. Um, AMC with a $3 gain is up about 30% today. Uh, so it is outrunning GameStop on a percentage basis for sure. Also, good news on AMC for shareholders. 248 million of shares of volume on AMC today, but I, I will caution you out there, if you are long this stock, there's a lot of speculation coming in here on this thing. Uh, and again, I, I got to tell you, if you own this stock and you haven't done it yet, you could write contracts against it. You can now write 15s. Uh, if you can bring in a buck fifty on a one fifth on a fifteen dollar contract, you are offering your stock at sixteen fifty. Um, going for again, I just I don't want to make you mad, but I gotta tell you the truth. Uh, this stock is running, and it's it might have gone a bit too far too fast, but it's okay. Uh, we're happy to see a good day. Uh, believe me, uh, everything is falling into place perfectly for AMC today and GameStop because the Dow is up 560 points. We were up only 300 something when I uh, after I went off the air, came back now here we're up 563 that is pushing the high of the day again on the Dow. Fantastic. Uh Waverly, thank you for uh, joining. Waverly Feltz, thank you for joining this channel as a new member. Uh welcome aboard. Uh so, you know, the market's up uh, the S&P is up 61 points. Uh, S&P uh, uh, the Nasdaq's up 120. It was negative 30 about 45 minutes ago. It had dropped off negative, came back. So everything is working for AMC. Everything is working for GameStop. Everything is falling into place for this rally. But I'm uh, telling you, there is no news on GameStop today uh, at all. Now, this is good news for GameStop shareholders, I will say, because if they come out tomorrow or on Monday with a new CEO announcement and that adds to this, great. Maybe that you know, maybe we have another run. Um, but GameStop needs to kind of chew through this 160, 70, 80 range to kind of break out of the range we've been range bound in now for over what a month plus. And uh, this is a good start today. Uh, it's 165, 50, 165, 80 right now. The volume is approaching seven million on GameStop. We're at seven, six point nine million shares traded. And so we've got a good volume day, not a, not an incredibly heavy, way up, way up heavy day on, on GameStop. This is just a, 
a decent day compared to lately how we've been doing two, three, four million shares a day. This is better. Uh, it's not good enough, but it's better. GameStop needs 50 million a day to really run it. Um, but am I complaining a $20 gain today? Oh, I'm not. Uh, no. Up 318 on AMC now to 1350. Unfortunately, IPOE did back off, is coming back, but it did back off to 1414 for a momentary low. And it was at that point that it looks like that everything turned because uh, GameStop popped up. Uh, AMC really took a shot. And uh, from 1414, we're now at 1472 on uh, IPOE. <laughs> 58 cent turnaround, but we're still down 32 cents on the day. So it was down up over 80 cents. 3.2 million traded, and it is definitely improving, but uh, can it uh, get back to the $15 mark? We'll see. The Dow definitely wants to close on a high, it would appear at this moment. Uh, S&P definitely is participating with a 63-point gain. That is 1.5%, and NASDAQ now up 127, which is a 1% gain on the day. That is what we have. Uh, 166, 167 now on GameStop. Uh, again, popping up $22 a share. There is nothing for sale here. They gapped out. Um, there really shouldn't be much in the way of offerings here to stop the stock from going higher. Uh, but we will, we'll see what it wants to do. Uh, what can I say? Um, um, what we got here? Michael, Michael is saying I went a little crazy. Bought 20 IPOE calls at 261. Per January 2021, uh, sorry, January 21, 2022, $15 strike. January 20, the 1st, January 21st, 2022, $15 strikes. I'm feeling good about it, though. 20 calls at 261 uh, on 15. So you're just about at the money, and you have until 2022. Yeah, I think you're you're okay. <laughs> I think you'll be fine. Um, all right, 166.83 on GameStop and uh, 14.76 on IPOE and 13.50 on AMC. Um, right on, folks. Welcome, everybody. AMC to the moon. Uh, look, I hope people make a lot of money. I know I have viewers that own AMC, and I hope you're doing all right with this. Uh, level 2 data showing massive cell walls of 1,000 or more. Haven't seen this in a while. Um, interesting. I have all the SPACs, but IPOE is my heavyweight. Says Drew Waverly. Well, thank you all for the warm record. I've been joining in every day since March. Thank you, Waverly Files, for being here, part of this group. You get to use these emojis now. Just uploaded a new emoji about uh, 10 minutes ago. Um, more cowbell. Uh, check out the new more cowbell emoji. And I also repaired the and, and fixed the uh, curling rock and rock on uh, emojis. That's been repaired. You guys can get going uh, on that one again. So uh, I'm doing all I can for you, folks. Uh, what can I say? Um, 111,000 in the money contracts tomorrow, says Dan. Uh, of course, that depends on how much higher this GameStop keeps going. If this GameStop keeps running uh, from here, 166, and wants to go to 186, 196, that would be a lot more contracts in the money tomorrow than this. That could be interesting. Um, that could be that 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 could be easy. That was easy. That was easy. 167.75. We've got a new high right now on GameStop. 167.75 right now. Uh, we just touched 94. We're going for 168, maybe for 170 a share here. Up $23 a share. Happy to see that. 534 gain on the Dow, now 544. S&P up 61, NASDAQ up 128. GameStop 167.63, doing rather nicely to say the least. Um, and let's see what's going on. Uh, it's fixed, says Rabbit. We can rock. Yes, we are back. Our emojis are working properly again. Thank you, everybody, for being so patient. Uh, Nerez is saying the right thing. That's right, cowbell. We got the cowbell up. 168 now on GameStop. It's going higher, and the cowbells are ringing. 200 is a big pressure point for GameStop. That could really hurt Chicago. Tony, uh, 168.35. Yep, we are rolling here on the stock. GameStop is going higher. Um, AMC 1349, and IPOE now 1469. Trying to uh, bring a little more onto it. Hopefully, it'll come a little higher. We'll see what's going on here. We got the cowbells going. 168 like butter. Went through there like butter. Next stop, 169 and 170. Uh, run, Forest, run, says Farragut. Don't just dance. Uh, the game stop. Don't stop today. Jack Bauer, good luck with the job interview to continue your small world connections. 
Um, it's a, like a hot knife through Cheese Whiz. Ah, oh, that could be it. Melted Cheese Whiz. Oh, yeah. How many bagels did you eat today, Bruce? Market Watch reporting meme stock squeezing hard. Um, Bruce, love the GameStop action. Quick SPAC question, though. I bought all four you recommended a few months ago. VGAC, SVAC, uh, FAII, GHA. I did my own research and just waiting. Has your opinion changed? Nope, has not changed. I am bullish on all of them. We're at 169 like butter. We're going for $170 a share right now. Straight shot. Let's see what happens. I like these SPACs. I like all the SPACs I recommend. They're going to be well-funded, and I think you're going to really enjoy them when they become what they're about to become. Hang on. 169.42. Going to go to 170 like butter. We're going to 170. Get ready, kids. Uh, yes, indeed. My cheapo out of the money calls for two weeks away. Woo uh, <laughs> 166. 169.86. Going for 170. Watching for the 170 breakout. Are we going to go right through it like butter or what? Uh, 169, what? 169.86, 169.15, 169.45, 169.30. Jumping around, jumping around, jumping around. We haven't started the squeeze. Once it hits 10,000, I'll say that's a good start. There you go. That's how you look at it. Oh, my goodness. No one's greedy here. Um, the day, uh, I'm day drinking already. Uh, Eric, I love how there's no news on GameStop. Nothing to see here. It's just smile. It's nothing going on. At 168.90, volume now, 7.26 million. Someone's buying up this stock. Uh, there is buying coming in on this stock. 169.46, 169.68. We're going for 170 again. <clears throat> Here comes the wave. Are we going to crash through 170 on GameStop? What are we going to do? My emojis are wonky. Uh, let's see. Uh, why is everyone average price? Are you all up? What's everyone doing? Uh, like butter, 170, my boys and girls. We're about to do it. Um, the question is halted. Uh, Tony um, uh, doesn't look like it. Tony uh, says, "Jack, this is about to moon, and you're you're going for job interviews. What the what the, what the what 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 the Florida? Why the face? Confused. Uh, butter, butter, butter. Um, let's see. Uh, where are we? <laughs> comments coming through here like crazy. Thank you everybody for joining me today. It's great to have you here. All kinds of members saying hello. 170. It's going to happen. 170. It's going to happen." They're sorting it. They're shorting us again. Uh, let's see. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Um, getting rich on these runs are fun, but being in here when it happens is a cherry on top with a bagel. Yes. Volume, baby. This makes me feel uh, amorous. <laughs> Says Palma <Bama> Bay. <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> up 17%, only 7 million volume. That's what we want to see. This is the way. That's what we're watching here. Um, uh, AMC 1346 up 314 on 256 million volume. Uh, of course, GameStop trading at uh, with uh, 7.3 million. If you multiply that by about 15, you will get uh, about 120 million shares of volume equivalent. So AMC is out trading us, no doubt about that in in real terms. But uh, Hey, am I complaining? I'm not. I'm a happy guy. I'm I'm happy to see it happen. 1461 on IPOE on 3.3 million. It's just the lagger today. It is the AMC GameStop show right now that I can see here. The Dow up 518, S&P up 58, and Nasdaq up 111. We have 47 minutes left to go, and that's what's going on. Day drinking is Cody Miles in here. Uh, volcano. We got chart emojis. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, what happens if you write a call option and the stock splits before your expiry date? Are you screwed? No, you then have two contracts. Everything splits. So if, if you have 10 contracts that you're long or you're, or you're written, you now have 20. And, and the exercise price is cut in half. Uh, the ex exercise, the expiry date is the same. So uh, if they do a 10 for 1 split, uh, 10, for, 10 for 1 differential. That's all it is. So you buy one contract and the stock splits 10 for 1, you now have 10 contracts. No, no, everything's relative. 167.18 on GameStop. Looking at another run here, uh, what will it do? It hit a high of 169.95 on the last run. It's now 167.90, $2 behind there. Coming on again, it would seem. Um, we're watching that, of course. Uh, J J Casey Wilson, damn right. Uh, Bill, someone play Tusk and we can all dance around the bonfire. Um now they have 200,000 shares to short with us. So little activity on the sell side. Um, milk was a bad choice, says Jonathan. <laughs> 
Tony says, we're all planning on retiring, and the dude's going for job interviews. What is that all about? Well, maybe he likes to be a, a working retired person. Uh, you know, he's working uh, just for fun. Uh, Bruce Butta, um, Dynamite, get that spacesuit ready. Uh, get those thumbs up, people. Purchased all the most GameStop today that I've added in days. Huge issue with Fidelity. When these stocks moon, you can only withdraw $100,000 a day. Uh, Tony, Jack Bauer, new job equals more money to buy more GameStop. Bama, babe, how you doing? I can't get my spacesuit on right. Seat belts, everybody, safety. Uh, 166.12 right now. Uh, where, there you go. Uh, thumbs ups uh, for Bruce. Dynamite under GameStop run. Let's go. Whenever someone gets up, uh, gets uh, uh, gets Uncle Bruce and Jen to laugh, the, it's the best. Knee, knee from Rabbit. You're all welcome for AMC. I did this as Justin Lane. Um, there you go, Justin Lane. Thank you. Um, Tony Green makes me happy. I'm here, but it's late night drinking for me. Uh, the uh, the options expiry tomorrow. This is awesome. Um, let's see. Bruce, give Bruce your thumbs, please. Derek is saying. Justin says, "Hey, Cody. I want. Uh, Ona, I wonder if uh, TD Ameritrade is going to let us take out a small amount, like a hundred thousand dollars." James uh, added fifty-five GameStop shares at one fifty-one. Whew, that was close. Beautifully done. Uh, Casey, uh, AMC volume. I see is two hundred fifty-six million. Thinking about GameStop with half that volume has my bagels jacked. Volume seven million. We need Yoko. Oh no, we had enough of her yesterday. Got Tesla tires rotated today, and there was a line for test drives while nobody getting cars serviced. They all had original roaster. Boy, have we come a long way. Uh, 167 24 on GameStop taking another run right now looks like uh, 1319 on AMC a little backing off there uh, 1457 on IPOE just kind of meandering along um, uh, uh, laugh a lot I, I love the Chia pet fro it, it's a thing now um, <clears throat> let's see um, <laughs> Bill AMC GameStop a bonfire Tusk is playing me and my loincloth body paint and headdress with spear jumping around petitioning the gods of profits oh my goodness it's only $166 a share wait till it gets to 500 oh my gosh I'm not calling dangerously doe um, uh, <laughs> calling da <laughs> call dangerously he keeps changing his name every day so he's not call he's now known as I'm not calling dangerously doe <laughs> Stock Wars with Bruce. Thank you, Uncle B. I'm thinking about dipping my toe in the water and buying a call contract, of course, on a really cheap stock, of course. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Vash, my cost average is 166.69. It's 166.29. You're almost there, Vash. Hang on. Jonathan, come on, Baxter. You know I don't speak Spanish. Uh, just got five more IPOE. This is a great dip. 1458. Uh, must be a glitch. I'm seeing green candles. Have they fixed it? It'll, it'll have it fixed by morning. They'll make it go back to red. Don't worry about it. Justin Lane, hello. Feels like the corner bar here. 165.90 on GameStop. Some Yoko Yodeling, please. How about some share today? How about some share? Oh, my God. <clears throat> I got mad at Elon and sold my Tesla shares for GameStop at the start of the market today. Drew, I feel so much better after switching from coffee to orange juice in the morning. My doctor says it's the vitamin C and natural sugars. I think it's the alcohol. Um, I'm not uh, calling dangerously. I can't do it this switch. Colin, now calling dangerously. No, I am me. Uh, there's somebody else who's who's not. Oh, there's somebody else calling himself that. <clears throat> Derek Johnson, identity theft part two. Oh, man. <clears throat> Cody, no kidding. I love it in here. T-Bone is smiling. Colin, Colin, imposters. Identity theft is just a crime, Jim. It's just a crime. Nicholas, Uncle Bruce, I just like the stocks. Um, Eric, oh, ha, ha, love the Jerry Seinfeld voice. What are you talking about, the Jerry Seinfeld voice? What are you talking about? Uh, 165.18 on GameStop. <clears throat> Bruce, you live in Creston. Do you know Freddy? <laughs> we know everybody. Of course we do. Um, oh, my gosh. And everybody knows us. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> What's that? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. I have a friend of mine in Toronto. He's 4,000 miles away. You know this guy? Why don't you know him? Um, oh, my. What are the reasons for the current green wave in GameStop and AMC? Uh, multiple reasons. <clears throat> but we'll, we'll, just, we'll just say that AMC raised $400 plus million plus today, and they're happy over there, although it's now 1282 and it was over fourteen. Uh, GameStop just oversold lately, and it was due for a correction, and it is popping. Casey, I see, uh, I've seen the chat crazies at 180, 500. I can't even imagine what will be happening in here. Can you imagine how crazy we're at 180? Wait till we get the 500. It's out of control. <clears throat> Colin Dangerously, Derek, uh, I think you may have clicked something bad. <clears throat> You've been hacked. I am not Colin Dangerously, Joe. 
Stockmore says, Bruce, uncle, you can't recognize me? It's your nice, it's your niece, Jane Doe. Oh, my gosh. Ryan Cohen is, is here. Hi, Ryan. I haven't seen you in a while, Ryan Cohen. Welcome back to the channel. It's nice to have you here. He's going, hee, God do it. I am me, too. Oh, my goodness. I'm crying laughing, says Colin. I'm crying laughing. Freddie! Uh, Colin in the house says, Justin Lane. A rabbit can't wait until he relishes his um, Jane. Relishes, re relishes his Jane Doe. Realizes his Jane Doe. Freddie who? Obama, babe. Uh, Casey, let's imagine if it hits 500. This group is going to be a drunken orgy. <laughs> Everybody wants to be like Mike. Scratch Mike, Colin. Oh, what's up, RC? Uh, asks Frankie. Tony, Obama, babe, count me in. I'm not. I'm not calling dangerously. Rabbit, I've had to. I had to reveal myself. Uh, Jane Doe had to reveal herself. Oh my gosh, you guys. 164.04 uh, at the moment. We're backing off a little bit from this 170 attempted run. Um, the Dow is up 517, S&P up 58, NASDAQ up 107, oil down 239 a barrel. Uh, we've got uh, a bunch of folks in here. Uh, thank you all for joining us today. We already have, how many thumbs ups we got now? 398 thumbs ups. Folks, we have no excuses. There's no way we can't not get to a thousand thumbs ups this time. I don't have to sing Yoko Ono. Well, as a matter of fact, I'll tell you what. If you don't get me to a thousand ups, thumbs ups real soon, I will start singing like Yoko Ono. So there's your threat. Please give me a thumbs up so I won't sing like Yoko Ono today. Uh, say, spare your ears from the carnage and pain and suffering and bleeding that you had yesterday on this show. We're at 472. We're at 500 right now. Here they come, 539. They're listening to me. I'm serious. If I don't hit a thousand thumbs ups in the next few minutes, there will be Yoko Ono screaming songs going on. I'm doing a medley. Uh, I'm figuring a polka medley. We'll start with a beer barrel polka by Yoko Ono in 15 minutes if I don't get a thousand thumbs ups. Now, there's a threat you got to take seriously. I mean, that's worse than a pipeline being shut down by some Russian hackers. What, what can I say? We're at 617. They're coming in, Jen. They're coming in. They don't want to hear Yoko. They're showing me, please, don't, don't sing Yoko Ono uh, beer barrel polka medley song. Please, Bruce, don't do it. So thank you, everybody, for helping me out. 658 thumbs ups already. Get me to 1,000, and I will not sing the Yoko Ono Polka Fest medley. Uh, that's just dying to come out. It's dying to come out. I'm telling you. 687 now. They keep coming in. <laughs> oh, man. Does any other channel treat you like this? I don't think so. $6.95, that's what makes it so unique. $165 a share on GameStop right now. Uh, and the Dow is up 508 points. We have 706 thumbs ups. They're coming. They're co We're only 294 away from Yoko Ono being stuffed in a bag in the closet. We're not going to have to worry about her. But she's dying to get out. Uh, I'm telling you, 721, help me out here. Oh, man, I don't want to sing this beer barrel polka medley with Yoko Ono as lead singer. I don't want to do it. I don't want, what, the band's ready? Oh, I don't know. Keep them back there. Uh, they're promising me they're going to get me a thousand thumbs ups. We're at 736. Keep the band away. Oh, no, no, that tuba player, you get back over there. Don't, don't you come in here, that tuba player. Get get out of here. And put those later hosen back where you found them. That, that, you're not, they're not yours. Oh, these kids. Oh, 755. We're 245 thumbs ups away from salvation. Thank you, everybody, for being here today. 165.29 on GameStop. Uh, AMC is 13.09. Uh, IPOE 14.55, Gore's at 10.59, down 30 cents. VGAC up seven cents to 9.94. Uh, other markets, um, Vanek Vectors up 3.06. Uh, the Home Depot up nine bucks. Came came back from that 30 point drop two days in a row. That's 21 dollars away. Uh, International Business Machines up 3.33. The Dow up 5.08. Microsoft is up 4.92. Apple up 2.49. Tesla down 23 bucks. Bed Bath and Beyond down 31 cents. BlackBerry unchanged. Uh, we've got the cruise lines all positive because of this uh, mask removal uh, allowable thing. We don't know what the impact is on cruise lines. We'll follow this. The Royal Caribbean shares are 40. Uh, Norwegian up 34. Carnival up 31. Amazon up 763. Facebook up 285. Alphabet up 25 dollars. Uh, Target up six bucks. Did you read about this? Target is going to stop selling Pokemon and sports training cards out of an abundance of caution because they've been limiting sales to their customer service counters. People have been lining up for three hours before Target opens in the morning in the hopes of buying sports cards 
And there were fist fights in the lines at 6.30 in the morning. I couldn't believe it. I have 65,000 sports cards available uh, to the highest bidder. Uh, bidding starts right now. Fire away. How much you want to pay me for this stuff? I'm offering my sports cards. One, one buyer can have them all. How much you want to give me for them? Oh, my gosh. What else is going on here? A 166 on GameStop up $21 a share right now. How are we doing on those thumbs ups? Is Yoko Ono ready? Is she coming in here? Hang on, 815, 816 thumbs ups. We still need 184 more thumbs ups to keep Yoko Ono away from singing the beer barrel polka yodeling medley that's guaranteed to last 25 minutes until uh, till this afternoon. So if you don't want to hear Yoko Ono yodeling live on this channel, please, please, I beg you, uh, bring me those thumbs ups. We're at 833, 167 to go. We get 1,000. As soon as we have 1,000, Yoko is gone. We won't have to worry about her. Thank you, everybody, so much. Help me help her, help yourself. Help me help you. 849 thumbs ups. We're 151 away. We're coming in. It's going to happen. Uh, you should have seen what we did yesterday to get those thumbs up. It was pretty desperate. We don't want to do that ever again. Uh, help me help you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we've got bids coming in for the cards. Uh, 65,000 sports cards. Heck, I'll even throw in 5,000 comic books if you like. And we'll do the entire deal. Bring a big old pickup truck, a big old uh, uh, panel van over here. And we'll make a deal. There, well, let's get them out of here. We're at 889 thumbs ups, 111 away from keeping Yoko Ono from yodeling 25 minutes straight on this channel. Oh, we're so close to salvation. I can feel it coming. Uh, we're going to hit 900 here in just a second. 895 with 100 to go in just a second. Here it is. Booyah! 901 thumbs ups, 99 to go. We're just all we need is a Gretzky. Just give me a Gretzky, and we got her made. 99. Now we have 400. We have 89 left to get to get to a thousand thumbs ups, and we are salvaged, and we will be fine. Everything will be well. This world will be saved. You will not have to listen to Yoko Ono yodeling for 25 straight minutes, starting with the beer barrel polka as her top selection of the evening. Uh, 943, 57 to go. Uh, put those dirndls back. Uh, we don't need the later hosen. Uh, those funny little hats with those feathers. Get rid of that. There. Put a, 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 that beer thing. Well, you can keep the beer thing. Uh, we might get into that later. Uh, but uh, oh my gosh, uh, what's going to happen here? 965, 960. We have 34 thumbs ups to go. Kids, you're 34 thumbs away from not having to hear Yoko Ono for 25 straight minutes on this channel. Uh, we're 968, 32 to go. Thank you so much for helping me help you save you from yourselves. Uh, we're at 976, 24 to go. Oh uh, gosh, I can't wait to get to a thousand thumbs up. So I'm just praying we get there real quick. Uh, 980, 20 to go. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to cancel my thumbs up. 999. Tony, I knew you'd do this. I knew it. You, you, you'd pull something like that. Uh, 995. Five to go. And Yoko will be gone. Oh, my gosh. And there it is. We've done it. Uh, you've done it. Uh, 1,000 thumbs ups have come in. Thank God. Yoko is not needed at this time thank you so much for helping out this youtuber uh sparing me sparing yourselves uh it, it's you're you're too kind i gotta tell you you're too kind we're up 537 on the dow we're up 60 on the s p and we're up 115 on nasdaq oil down 241 to 63 dollars 67 cents we've got uh, all kinds of comments coming in uh now we're looking for bids uh we're looking for the highest bids willing to be paid for, oh, 60,000 sports cards and about 5,000 comics that are lying around in this house that we need to get rid of. Uh, we sure would like to get rid of this stuff, but we don't know. We've got the thousand thumbs ups, everybody. Thank God, says Jack Bauer. Thank God. Uh, together we save the world, says Colin. Uh, our echo, why the face? Uh, picked up another 30 game stops, says Bertie. A uh, thousand thumbs ups. No, no, no. We are doing 2,000. Laughing all Bruce. So far behind on this. Uh, no Yoko. In the meantime, the real Yoko must be tingling her ears. 
Yay, says Ona Bruce. Are you a mushroom? Because you're a fungi. Oh, my God. Uh, Muna Muna Mo. Oh, we're having fun here. Uh, one GameStop share for all house content. Uncle Bruce. There we go. We got a, we got a GameStop share for our stuff. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. I'll tell you. Uh, here's one. Four shares. I'll give you four shares. Oh, man, goodness. I uh, got to get rid of this stuff. Let me tell you. Oh, man, Bruce, I like your excitement, but can you please help us make sense of today? <laughs> like, I have the answer. Um, all I can tell you is that the market is up 549 on the Dow. Um, S&P is up 61. NASDAQ up 119. Bargain hunters have come in here. They're throwing out the inflation concerns because it's not a big deal. The economy is growing so quickly that the inflation issue is not going to deteriorate the economy because the economy is outgrowing the inflation fears and worries. Uh, interest rates, they're not going anywhere. The, flood, the Fed is going to continue to uh, flood the market with, uh, with paper and money. No issues there. I really wanted to hear that. I really wanted to hear we didn't start the fire by Yoko cover. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I wanted to hear. Oh, man. Oh, no. I'd rather get hit by a bag of doorknobs before I listen to Yoko Ono. Let Yoko out of the closet. Butter, butter, will you throw her in? A, will you throw in a jar of G? We throw in a jar of cheese whiz with all those comics and sports cards. Oh, man. 166.87 on GameStop. Is it going to take another run? We've got 29 minutes left in the day here as we are trying to hit the uh high of the day which would be 160 169.96 would do it uh 1320 on the games on the amc right now up 288 and uh, 1476 on ipoe it's coming on it's only down 29 cents looks like there's a little run going on here i will give you 100 shares of enron and throw in 50 shares of blockbuster for all your cards uh vincent just voted yes on the ipoe sofi merger don't forget to vote uh, exactly I can't explain today's stonk going up, says <laughs> Colin dangerously. <laughs> Bruce is going to make Yoko trend. Um, let's see. Uh, you can't keep Yoko down. Uh, Yoko is in the building. Cowbell. We got Cowbell. We got Curling Rocks. We got stuff going on here. Uh, 1478 on IPOE. GameStop 166.83. Trying to get the 167 again. Uh, Leon, I'm 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 uh, I've prepared a bait share uh, uh, limit price set to five thousand for set to one minute before close of state. I don't know what all this means. I'll trade you three garbage bags of gasoline for that stuff. Just check portfolio for the first time today, up fifteen percent and climbing for the day. How about that? Uh, GameStop is on fire, says Kirk Brunson. Let my Yoko go. Uh, uh, oh, you okay, Yoko? Um, uh, Five dollars is uh, is a whole bunch of dong. I am not calling. Uh, does anyone have IPO stocks on Schwab? I haven't gotten my voters proxy yet. Uh, three and a half sell share sell wall at one seventy. That's nothing. That is nothing. Neat says Eddie. Five thousand Bear Stearns for the whole set. Ah, there you go. Uh, Bitcoin sold my AMC at the high today and moved the money into MNMD on the cheap. Anna, um, uh, yay, I voted the other day. Thanks for reminding me, folks. Uh, 167.05 on GameStop. Broke, breaking through 167 now. What will it do? Will it take another shot to the 169.95 range? The Dow now up 573. I think that's the high of the day. Um, S&P up 67. NASDAQ up 144. Uh we are improving here. Uh, 167.03.04 on the GameStop. Volume on GameStop now, 8 million shares today. AMC volume, 272 million, trading at 13.32. AMC's high today, 14.20, the low, 10.64. That is a spread, to say the least. And in percentage terms, that is huge. The company raised. $428 million today by issuing a bunch of stock at market in the 958 something range I heard earlier. So they are funded with some more cash to survive longer. I have 51, 50 pounds of dog dung. What is that worth? Uh, there you go. Everyone has something. Have Yoko on the show for a duet. Uh, Tony, toss in a lit cigarette and it's a deal. Colin, does your fro change color due to the candles on GameStop? I like the green. Uh, free Yoko, uh, Mo Mo Dong, Mo Problems. Uh, Brock 
another bunch of shares of IM IPOE since I voted on previous shares. Will I get a new proxy vote for my new shares? I do not know. It depends on depends on the record date, and I don't know what that how that works. Fourteen eighty three on IPOE. That is the highest level now for several hours. Um, it is definitely coming on. It's down twenty two cents now. Nice to see a recovery from fourteen fourteen. That is a nice move back up. Uh, GameStop is unfortunately one sixty five ninety seven one sixty six thirty. Still about three thirty three sixty away. From the high of the day, about eight million traded today. AMC thirteen thirty three, trying to mount a bit of a run here. We are coming into the last twenty six minutes of the day. The Dow up five sixty six, trying to erase the entire loss of over six hundred points yesterday. It's getting awful close to it. What's the next resistance level that will open the floodgate? IPO is trying to recover. TDA allowing. I don't use them. I'd like to know. Sell. Let me run one forty five right now. Okay. Yesterday I heard Bruce say something about putting gasoline in plastic bags. <clears throat> I got fifteen full bags. What was it you said to do after that? Um, a conduit. Uh, damn it. Uh, no more dong. A price isn't dipping enough. Okay, I'm done buying today. Like sixty five dong shares I had to buy. Um, Merklin four four hundred twenty United States dollar equals. A whole lot of dong. Uh, DE, no more masks. Uh, fully vaccinated people can stop wearing masks indoors and outdoors, the CDC says. Buster Scruggs. If we finish at 169, the meme boom overnight will push us higher tomorrow. Interesting. Uh, Ona, uh, whiskey my uh, for my men. Beer for my horses. Um, Gregory, Yoko to the bagpipes. All right, hedge funds, short sale games. Stop. Go on, I dare you. 175 by the end of the day, and I'll donate $175 to Uncle Bruce. 175 is what we need from GameStop for Uncle Bruce to get a $175 donation from Eric Danlin. I don't know if that's going to happen. We're at 24 minutes, but you know, you can't put everything past this market. You just never, ever know. 564 on the Dow, 65 point gain on SP. 143 on NASDAQ, uh, 166.32 on GameStop. Bought another 100 shares of IPOE since I voted on my previous shares. Way to go. I didn't get any offers, Derek. Uh, but SoFi is a bank for kids who are broke. If SoFi had a future as a public company, they would go public. Okay, uh, we'll see. Um, Derek Johnson, take the hint there. Uh, Aaron, I'll place a call option on that dog dung you got there. Uh, DQ, Derek Johnson, you didn't specify what kind of dog. Uh, I am not uh, calling Danger Joe is good for flower fertilizer. All right, Vic, Bruce, if GameStop hits 110,000, I'll buy you a Model S customized for a four foot eight inch guy. How about that? There you go. Uh, even us little guys get a car. Oh, man. Uh, Dong game is offline. I am not calling. Uh, Derek Johnson, do you do you deliver? Uh, Cody says uh, conduit after hours. Dong, my mask smells good. I don't see the problem. Um, a DQ, all kinds of his mixture. I'm not calling within 20 miles. One of this means. Um, Schwab has. Uh, thank you, Scott Coleman, uh, for your donation on PayPal. Just saw it coming in. Thank you so much, Scott. I hope you're having a good day. We're having a lot of fun here. Wild and wacky. Schwab has an IPOE proxy materials, and you can vote. Check under corporate actions and click on proxy events. SoFi's target market is young professionals who make less than 100000 a year. Uh, let's see. Cody, um, Ugg, so if anyone says Yoko, I'll buy IPO at this price. Do you have any idea how confusing this is for me, says Colin? Uh, Uncle Bruce, uh, you can have your local auto body detailing shop paint bagels around the wheel fender of your car. Perhaps, maybe, huh, huh? Yoko, uh, add a boy, Scott. Uh, Bruce, I have one share that I will sell at $5,000 starting one minute before closing. There you go. Uh, Vilbas, Tarbors, uh, Tar Boys Worldwide, they are going public via SPAC. Come on, man. One share bargain. Um, let's see. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Bruce, I don't want the uh, I don't want the sports cards. However, do you still happen to have the gum? Uh, no, I don't have packages. Uh, these are loose. Uh, Derek, call Ninja. What if we all show up tomorrow as you, uh, Yoko? Uh, soft, SoFi Target is young professionals who make more than 100000 Oh, okay. We'll go with that. I can handle that. Yoko, says Cody. Uh, we are now at 1476 on IPOE, 166.77. On GameStop, uh, AMC 1325. Gore's holding down 29 cents to 1060. VGAC up 6 cents to 993. The Dow up 563 points, holding. SP up 65. NASDAQ up 138. That's what we've got right now. Uh, this market does not seem to want to back off at all. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, let's see. Superstocks. 
recent YouTube interview of ex-SEC insider said to vote the proxy is one of the most important things that a GameStop stockholder can do. Condo two shares bargain. Can someone keep track of this? Uh, what's professional? Uh, what's a professional? There are people right now in this country with plastic shopping bags filled with gas in their house. Who wouldn't take a vaccine because it's unsafe? Uh, yeah. Um, I give Uncle Bruce more thumbs up. So we have 1,537 people here watching right now. Fresh and free. Pretty woman was a pro. Uh, Colin Dangerly. Then we could have the fight of the Collins, like the fight of the Joshes, if we all changed our name. Dan, thank you for this donation. Uh, thank you, Uncle B, for keeping us calm in this fight. Uh, I do the best I can with what little I have. 166.59 on GameStop. Uh, volume now on the GameStop today, 8.1 million shares. 1321 on AMC, volume 275 million. IPOE, 1481, down only 24 cents. It's coming back. We are into the last 10, 11 minutes of the day. Always remember to be awesome to everybody. Um, let's see. I am not calling. The, that's a splendid idea. We should all be calling tomorrow. Uh, Wally's rabbit. Uh, Alex, uh, come on, guys. Get those thumbs up coming in. Uncle Bruce is making us rich. We are now on the thumbs ups count. Uh, 1,100 thumbs ups right now. That's what we've got, everybody. Thank you so much for being here and helping this channel out, uh, figuring out where we're going. We are up 574 on the Dow Jones Industrials. That is, I believe, just about the high of the day within 10 points now. We are really holding a nice gain here with the final 10 minutes to go. A uh, very good run. There it is on CNBC. They're talking about it, showing it off. A very powerful day today uh, compared to yesterday's 600-point uh, drop. Very interesting. 166.32 on GameStop, 13.07 on AMC. Uh, IPOE 1479. That is what we've got here. No complaints. Um, has anyone uh, ever seen the uh, all gas, no brakes videos? Uh, 1100 thumbs ups on Bruce's show here. Uh, I'm not calling. Uh, Scott, thanks. That's nice. And to you as well. Scott Goldman, thank you so much. Cody, um, um, oh, sun's coming up here. Wife going to wake me and see me drinking beer and saying, Yoko. Brian, um, what kind of let's go GameStop. Anna, not calling, but it's occasionally dangerous. Uh, Wally's, oh, mine's there this morning's too. Um, got it under control. Dan Hammer, Bruce, can you make GameStop go to 200 tomorrow? Thank you in advance. Thank you very much. Uh, Otis Nicholas, I uh, love all gas, no brakes. Um, where is Texas when we need them? Uh, where is Texas where we need them? Where, where is Texas? Is Texas doing okay? I hope Texas is all right. 166.05. Uh, we love Texas. Uh, baked uh, baked baking, uh, all gas, no breaks is awesome. Casey, we seem stalled. Someone grab Uncle Bruce a bagel with cheese whiz. I am not uh, uh, calling. Uh, Michael, uh, where have you been? Yep, uh, ticking. Um, um, uh, Derek, uh, formerly Colin Dangerously. Now, Bob, don't make me laugh. Uh, Buster, he is a channel four now, I believe. Uh, amen, says Nicholas. Uh, uh, 420 a billion US dollars equals nine whatever dong. Now that's a lot of dong. They're going to try and hit it hard. Uh, Michael, uh, I'm not calling dangerously. They've been working crazy about usually listening. Um, where's the liquidity margin calls? 166.28 on GameStop. It would appear uh, volume at 8.15 million is what I have. 166.44 on GameStop. The Dow up 580. S&P up 66.6. .6. NASDAQ up 143. Uh, Vic, Uncle Bruce, you're a boomer who I could see myself on a nice minute training cruise with, enjoying the sights and talking about them. Good old days calling GameStop. Cheers, mate. It, that was easy. Buzzer. That was easy. There you go. Buzzer. That's so easy. Thank you, everybody. I heard Yoko has a lot of offshore dong. Is that after hours going to be important today or should we ignore it? Well, it could be interesting. Um, uh, Michael Shades, glad you could join us. Uh, Eddie, the buzzer, uh, run, baby, run. GameStop is the best friend. I like IPOE as well. And John Van, wait till after hours. Uh, right now, 166.02, up 2123 on GameStop. 1305, up 273 on AMC. Uh, IPOE, 1474. The Dow, up 579, holding the gain. Um, up 66 on S&P, up 145 on NASDAQ. We're down to six minutes on the day i'm not currently calling thank you jane easy and uh, so easy bruce have you ever cruised to asia before not been to asia it's on a bucket list marco hey bruce uh etoro posted they may need to restrict gamestop trading based on liquidity providers what does that mean confused i don't know what their problem is 
I don't understand it. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. They're not going to rip until after. Um, I do not know. Uh, with all of this name changing and name tags are going on like a general's patches on a cruise. Uh, I'm not calling how I guessed right. Uh, we have five candles, and then you won't be able to buy GameStop at 167. I don't know what's going on. Looks like Colin is kissing Mike. Oh, no. Uh, oh, my gosh. Um, they're just friends. Uh, 166.45 on the GameStop shares, uh, 1470 on IPOE, 1315 to 1317 now on AMC. Uh, the Dow is holding the gain. We are into the last, what is it, 16, 15, 14 minutes or so uh, coming in. Um, and the market zone is on. They're down to 15 minutes, 45 seconds on the Dow over there on CNBC. That is the deal, folks. Um, mm, so much fun. Um, we got, we've got all kinds of emojis going up here. Uncle Bruce, I'm going to have to rescue more cats for your Reddit. Uh, they they jam uh, formally. Uh, I, I what now? Uh, Dan, 16 minutes on the day. Uncle Bruce, are you from the future? Um, no. Now that there's anything wrong with that, nothing with that. Old man stepped out for a minute. Uh, Kiss and call. What the hey? Uh, so much for 175 at the bell. Wally's World, uh, loving it. Um, I don't even know my own name anymore. <laughs> Michael, the names have not had me lot now. And the names have me lot now. I don't know what that means. Waldo says, Tony, uh, have me lost now. There you go. I am uh, formerly calling dangerously now. Bob, I think I've caused a little ripple here. Um, oh, my. Derek, um, uh, Bob, I'm crying over here. I thought you were kissing Mike, Michael, but it wasn't you. Uh, John. I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing it's on sale after I was going to rip and we won't be able to buy under 166. Uh, UN, it looks like you're the one or two phone books shorter today. What's the deal? Uh, well, I'm just leaning into the cam camera. Uh, Nicholas, Uncle Bruce, what's your favorite source for information on companies you're interested in? I just make this up. Uh, hey, 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 Bandy, train spotting. Uh, Casey, Uncle Bruce, the names have been changed to protect the guilty. Um, uh, Tony, ain't no bell. I just make it all up. I, 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 this is all pretend. There's nothing real here. Vic, I should be working, uh, but Bruce got me distracted like a teenage boy walking past the Victoria's Secret in the mall. I can't focus. All this excitement has got me giddy, giddy, giddy. 165.59 on GameStop. Uh, 13.04 on AMC. Um, let's see. The Mar the Dow's up 5,000 points. Eh, uh, up 575 in reality, though. Um, uh, you can buy me in after hours. You can buy after hours on Fidelity. Bama babe, I'm for everybody kissing everybody. Will the C will the CD please stand up? Please stand up. Uh, Dan, Bruce, it seems like we didn't get the typical attack today. Could that be the hedge funds are now slowly and calmly trying to cover their shorts, not to raise many eyebrows? Maybe. Uh, also, they've been busy on everything else. Uh, they've been really busy all over the map the last three days, and they haven't paid that much attention to quiet little old GameStop because GameStop hasn't been doing this every 15 minutes. It's just been steady, steady. Today was a good day, though. Um, favorite TSX stocks, uh, no comment. Uh, Derek, not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, uh, hypothetical? Um, Tesla burning all my money. Uh, World Train Spotting is a brilliant guy. More cowbell, says DE. I'm hoping for a similar run, uh, AH, like April 26th. Uh, that was fun. Um, AMC borrow fee down to 52% from 76%. Could get hit hard here. Bruce, your speed reading is exceptional today. Am I doing this right, says Dangerously? Um, Derek, I am not calling. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Just thought one of them was married. Uh, formerly uh, Dangerous, Colony, perfect. Uh, J. Ray is laughing. Buster, big hitter, the llama. Uh, what can I say? Uh, it is an exciting close with 13 minutes left in the day. And uh, what can we say? Uh, GameStop went down a dollar. Bruce starts singing. Uh, Gowalli's not taking these. Um, yep, piggies. Just hitting their notifications during you, Bro Uncle Bruce's prime time. Not before this week, though. Uh, Vic, uh, your Bruce, your Diet Coke intake seems down. Need to wet your whistle. Everything okay? I'm good. Cheers, all of you from uh, Stock Marks with Bruce and Uncle Bruce. Thank you for being with me today. Uh, thank you for these orders. Somebody ordered some stuff today on, on this one. Thank you. Not sure if it's his logo, but somebody ordered some items on Redbubble today. Uh, I took a little random look this morning, and I noticed that there were imposters. There are imposters selling some of my stuff again on Redbubble. So I'll get Jen. I'll, I'll unleash Jen on these people, and she'll make them go away, I hope. I see what you did. Loud noises. Uh, Derek Jensen, I may not be after this. I want to bring the whole 
the wind of words, Sir Shira, Shira back into circulation once I make my millions. Okay. Um, do you think Tesla will bounce back soon or continue to decline? Um, I, I'm not sure. It just could be day-to-day -day stuff. I'm really not to worry about that. I'm saying you would you rather receive a DKKS or Dong? I'm I'm the dollar guy. Uh, John Ben, uh, Michael laughing out loud, uh, out loud. Um, cowbell, cowbell, poor Colin, poor Bruce. Um, I am not calling uh, whatever, poor Bruce for sure. Bruce, uh, with the Preakness Cup coming, if all the SPACs uh, were to all merge on the same day, which would win the race with the highest share price that day? Oh, my gosh, you guys. I don't know. At least the Jen released the uh, Kraken. Uh, Jen is the muscle. Uh, any philosophical thoughts on SPAC warrants? No, nothing philosophical whatsoever. Um, we've got a, a market here at 165.89 on GameStop, 12.77 on AMC as it continues to slump at the end of the day. Up 581 points on the Dow, very strong. Up 67 on S&P and up 150 on the Nasdaq. Uh, we are down to uh, 11 minutes to go on the day. Uh, 10 minutes 24 seconds, as a matter of fact. Uh, we're watching the final minutes click through here. Um, what will we have? Uh, Gore's Holdings has recovered and is now up seven cents on the day. Gore's Holdings now 1096, took a shot from the uh, 1050 level and is now at 1099, up a dime on 884,000 shares. It's good to see on, Gore, on Gore's. I'm very happy to see that move. Um, and I'm not sure if there's any news on Gore's holdings, but there is definitely a shot on Gore's happening as we speak right now. That is beautiful. Soon I'll be talking about five of these companies doing the same thing at the same time. Um, Gore's holdings, uh, let's see if there's any news anywhere that I can find, see, identify, uncover anything anywhere. Uh, I got nothing and I've got, um, nothing, um, uh, ba, 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 ba. just yesterday there was a, a report yesterday that came out so I don't know thank you Michael uh, thank you Michael for uh, the PayPal donation that just showed up on my account here uh, thank you so much for that uh, beautiful beautiful stuff um, and some of you have been asking for a one-on-one -on -one get together uh, we will uh, I've been getting a hold of you as best I can Michael Farr thank you great channel YouTube uh, keep up the good work thank you so much Michael from the UK, Metal Six, Middle Six UK. Thank you so much, Michael. That is very generous of you. I appreciate these PayPal donations too. Like you cannot believe. Thank you. Um, yes, a number of you have been reaching out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations. Uh, we are setting up next weekend right now and the weekend after that. Uh, so if you'd like one, let me know. Send me a message. I'll see what I can do to get you squeezed in as soon as possible. 1,200 thumbs ups right now. Thank you everybody for sending thumbs ups our way. I appreciate this. Uh, very kind of you. Gore's Holdings, 1099, up a dime on a real nice shot of volume that came through here in about 10 minutes. GameStop, 165.21, AMC, 1268, and IPOE at 1472. The Dow up 537, and the S&P up 61, NASDAQ up 128. That's what we've got going on right now. What can I say? Um, Gore's Holdings, 1094 at the moment. So it's it's slumping a bit, but it had a real shot here. There might be another. I don't know, but uh, we're watching for it. Uh, AMC uh, did hit 1420 today. It's now 1275 coming into the last eight minutes of the day. Um, 280 plus million, uh, if not more volume, 284, 284 million traded on AMC today. GameStop, 8.37 million traded today. 165.30 right now. IPOE 14.74 on a volume of 3.5 million today. Very good. Gore's Holdings now volume 905,000 on Gore's uh, is uh, up now again to 10.99 on Gore's Holdings. There might be a, d a little blockage at 11. If it can get through 11, it might take a little more of a pop. I'm not sure what's causing Gore's to make its move. It just is. Um, and we're saying. Thank you. Uh, we love seeing our SPACs move up. Hopefully, Gores is getting closer to their deal. Uh, that could be part of this. Uh, some anticipation here. Uh, VGAC at 9.94, up seven cents. Uh, the other SPACs are all virtually unchanged, up or down a penny. Vanek up 3.20. Um, Home Depot up 9.47. IBM up 3.13. 
The Dow up 505. Microsoft up 497 a share. Apple up 251. Tesla at 572 a share, down 17 bucks. Bed Bath Beyond down 36 cents. Blackberry down three. Um, and the cruise stocks up 63 on Royal, up 43 on Norwegian, up 40 on Carnival. Amazon up 10.19. Um, Facebook up 368 and Google up 23 bucks a share. Target up 638 a share. Uh, Costco up 840 today a share. Goldman up five bucks. So some good movement here on some of these stocks today. Uh, definitely to the plus side, no question about it. Uh, well done. A Coinbase down $23 today to $259.97. Coinbase getting whacked. Definitely getting whacked. Almost 10% drop today on Coinbase. Intel up 50 cents, 54.12. Mm, Micron up 60 cents. A couple of movements there. Uh, let's see. Um, Gore's Holdings, 1099. Up a dime and now trading at 11 and 1102 on Gore's. Gore's has just broken $11 a share. Why? I don't know. There's no official news anywhere on it, but it is higher. And it's nice to see a couple of SPACs of ours moving up today. That is a good, good sign. All right. Thank you, everybody. Uh, don't unleash the gen yet. Uh, give them a warning first, Bruce. Don't go full gen on them yet. There are people too, you know. Uh, Wally's new Uncle Bruce and Andy Jen signature series wood amps to be posted on the Bagel Bling channel tonight on Discord. Really nice. They do amplify big time. Uh, Jane Doe, see what happens when I learn something new on the computer. Oh my gosh. Uh, <clears throat> laughing out loud. Jen's totally going to hit me on our cruise. Uh, <laughs> don't ask Uncle Bruce questions right before the market close. Got it. Uh, no room for psychological thoughts with all these dirty thoughts I have. Oh my gosh. Um, Bruce, speaking of preakness, have you ever thought of calling a horse race? You're a natural. Down the lane they come. Uh, 164.26 on GameStop. AMC at 12.84. Gore's 11.03. Fantastic. It's up 14 cents. Gore's was down like 30 cents. It's now up 14. Very nice. The Dow is holding on to a 500-point gain with four minutes left in the day. We are down to 4.27 left to go. And the uh, the Dow at 9.495 now. S&P up 56. And NASDAQ up 113. Uh, that's what we got right now uh, coming in here. Uh, the last of what's happening. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. I can't. Uh, too many uh, comments. I love you guys. Thank you all uh, so much for being here. How long have you guys been following this channel? As much as I like uh, hype shows, I enjoy the quiet days more. Uh, January. I've been here since January. Same in January. I had a long AMC call swinging to the money today. Uh, way to go. People were comparing yesterday's red market to the crash of 2008. But not us. The Bagel Gang knows all yesterday was just a blip and nothing to worry about. Thanks, Uncle Bruce. That's right. What a recovery. January here. January. People have been watching me since January. How about that? Colin a Mockery is here. I saw Uncle Bruce on a Reddit clip talking about the short manipulation a couple of months ago. And it led me here. Thank you to whoever that was. Thank you, Colin Montgomery, uh, Colin Mockery. But boy, do you look different. Uh, Colin, you've changed. Uh, Where did that hair come from? Crazy how much this has grown. Uh, January 2, the comments are always uh, start to get a bit sideways in here at this at this time. Tomorrow should be entertaining if this GameStop thread continues. 164.49, 12.75 on AMC. 164.49 on GameStop. 14.71 on IPOE. The Dow up 484 with two minutes to go in the day. 303 actually to go. Uh, we're coming in to the last couple of minutes. William, I've been here since February. De Derek, I've been here since February. Voices of the people, uh, Brokaw, <clears throat> Madden, Costas, Uncle Bruce. He's a legend, says Vic. I've been here since March. January, -ish, I think, after the big spike. I think those people weren't in the market. Oh, wait, aha. You're my new uh, use resolution, says Drew. IPOE on Yahoo Finance is showing 42.2% of float shorted thoughts. Going to go higher. Anna B, January, I've been here. Since, here. since January, I've been here. Will be our next bagel color. Been watching since late February, early March. I've been following you two years now on Diamond. That's right. Sharon's been following me on the other channel and now on this channel. Funky Bell going to squeeze up March, says Funky J. Um, we're at 164.29 on GameStop up to uh, we're at 12.73 on AMC. The Dow is up 473. We're down to a minute, uh, two minutes, 12 seconds now to go in the day. We're coming in. To the end of the day. Uh, let's see what happens. <clears throat> Larry, plus one for the January ish club. Jan, uh, Jan also. Uh, early February joined and Bruce saved me. Paper handling, handling. Love your work. Uh, February here. Nicholas, shreds of cheddar cheese toasted on the outside of the bagel will change you, Bruce. Um, uh, Cody, excellent. Um, thank you, everybody, for 
for sticking around for a few months with me so far. It's been a lot of fun here. 164.14 on GameStop, 12.69 on AMC, uh, IPOE 14.65. The Dow is up 470, S&P up 53, NASDAQ up 99 points. We're coming into the last one minute, 25 seconds, and we are done for the day, and we go into the after hours. What is going to happen today with the after hours? What a day we have had today. 164.41 on GameStop up 1959, up 1952. Very good day today. I've been here since late January, says Jane. Uh, thanks again for the great commentary. So hi to Jen. Uncle Bruce taught me how to leverage with options after the market manipulation in January, and now I have much more assets in play. All house dollars going to get a condo in Myrtle Beach. That's is what I am dreaming about. Um, what do you make of uh, IPOE going down today? Uh, I will not appear. I will not paper hand GameStop until it hits a te uh, ten thousand. Um, Jane Doe, no February. Is there a game tomorrow at the close? Um, let's see a spike after hours. Listen to this morning show to know what Bruce really thinks of the paper hands. Tim Bowman, been in the market since the 70s, been here since last fall, and TWB longer sending sun to Uncle Bruce. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. From Seattle, appreciate that, buddy. Um, I have been here since last week. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, so love games. Michael, a Ricardo, money by buying more. 10,000, 10,000, says Alex. Uh, Cowbell, uh, that was easy. Uh, stick around, Enrique. That was easy. Hang around. Jane, you took the time to make that icon pick. Um, we're coming into the last minute of the market. They are clapping. It's all over. It's all over. The tears begin to flow with celebration and happiness and all the good times of the world. Uh, GameStop closed at $165 a share on the nose, up $20.21 a share. On GameStop, after hours, 164.78. On IPOE, we shut down at 14.61. We're 14.66 on the aftermarket. On AMC, last trade, 12.77 today, up $2.45. 289 .9 million traded today on AMC at 12.77. Aftermarket, 12.66 at this moment in time. We are through the market now, and we noticed also that GHVI, Gore's Holdings closed at 11.05 to gain 16 cents after hitting the low at 1.30 today of 10.45. So we ran it up 70, 60 cents. It looks like it ran up 60 cents from the low to close at 11.05 on 1 million shares on Gore's Holdings. Something happened, something somewhere, somebody wanted in quickly, and they did get into Gore's very quickly at the end of the day here. For some reason, we may find out tomorrow what's going on. Very good. VGAC up $0.07 cents to nine ninety four. dollars uh, Fifth Wall, ten thirty five down 24 No recovery there. Vector down a penny. Navsite up a penny. Starboard down two pennies. Fortress up a penny. That's where we were at there. The Dow gained 433 points, it looks like, for the final uh, number at this moment. That would, have, would appear to be it. On the GameStop right now, after hours, uh, we have a blip trade, 162.52 down 248. We'll watch for this uh, over the next few minutes to see where this settles out and starts to trade at for real. If only had 5,000 shares trade in the aftermarket. Can you really believe that quote? I don't know. Interesting stuff, guys. What a day. Uh, what a day today. Um, we've had a nice turnaround. Ding, 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 165. Uh, only upside to paper handling is no fear of toilet paper shortage. Uh, just, let's see, spell check. Got me again. Bruce, come on, dude. Be honest. Do you really think GameStop has the potential to hit $1,000 a share? Why not? Uh, uh, Tesla uh, hit 4,500 just uh, this, this just a few months ago. Why, why can't this do a thousand? Byron, been watching for several months, but just joined yesterday. Welcome, Byron. Uh, American 164.50 close on 8.727 million volume, 13.61 percent gain on uh, on uh, on a 1971 dollar price movement. A very good day today. 165 last trade I'm showing at the moment. Um, call and mockery uh, finish line. Uh, Jane Doe, Cowbell, uh, Cody, a lot of options in the money. Woo Indeed there are. And tomorrow, we are Friday. We're into the option expiry day tomorrow. We're going to see what happens with this. That could be a lot of fun tomorrow. Um, Jay Ray, I stole off Google memes. Shrug, uh, Bizzle, Bruce, I go way back. I sold him his very first ladder. Um, uh, get, get me some of that AMC volume. Uh, Nancy, Cody, Alex, 
He's explained how it could on fundamentals. Low float makes it possible too. Only 73 million shares outstanding. Uh, you know, you make 10 bucks a share profit and trade at 100 times earnings. You're a thousand dollars a share. Ah, uh, that was a fun hour, says Colin. Nicholas GameStop might die a little bit in the aftermarket, but don't worry. Uh, 162.14 right at the moment on 7,800 shares volume. Uh, Gregory Bruce is Mr. Serious in the morning. And a maniac after hours. You gotta love this guy. Um, loving the games, uh, says SB. Maybe the uh, the insider knows that GameStop, uh, the Gore Holdings, is giving re getting ready to file for a vote. Uh, that could well be happening as we speak. That's true. Uh, th th this might be, you know, a stock uh, company ready to evolve and, and get ready to merge. Exactly. Uh, there's something possibly happening. We'll see what it is. Uh, it had a very wonderful close today. A strong, serious up upshot at the end of the day here on a million shares total for goals hold gore's holdings we're not complaining how about that yeah we're not complaining after hours no trading at the moment a uh, very quiet at this point in time on gore's okay we've got uh total thumbs ups now 1200 thumbs ups i thank you all so very much 1600 of you still with us i appreciate uh, all of you being here i hope you're having a good day i uh, hope you made some money today did your stocks go up uh i hope you're okay with this uh we got a nice close at 165 on Gores on GameStop today. We're at a nice close on Gores. Uh, we had a very good day for everybody involved in the AMC story. Um, although I will say, AMC did hit a high today of fourteen dollars and twenty cents for a sh brief point, um, but most of the time it was trading in that twelve thirteen range and closed out at twelve thirty four. On very heavy volume of 200 and about 90 million aftermarket volume on AMC right now, 212,000 at 1234 at the moment. It looks like to be down 34 cents if I've got my bearings correct. Yep, 230, 1233 down 44 cents on AMC right now in the aftermarket. So there's a bit of pressure coming in there. I don't know why, but it is. A, a, a GameStop 162 down three bucks on the aftermarket at the moment. And uh, that's what we've got. I don't have any news on uh, on GameStop uh, for the day. Uh, everything was uh, sort of uh, connected to the AMC uh, blowout, and uh, that seemed to wake up some of the markets. But we were oversold on a lot of stocks out there, and so that's what's going on. Uh, very interesting. Um, let's see here. Close is to the dot. One sixty five. We will. Um, uh, let's go. Let's go. Um, we need uh, a day like this. Way overdue. Uncle Bruce, keep our morale up. All these dead days. Um, let's see. Maybe the insiders know that uh, GV, GHVI is getting ready to announce a vote. Uh, that could be it. Maybe somebody knows somebody who knows something about something. Uh, Bruce, 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 says Maverick. Uh, 165 it is. Funky, has there always been after hours trading? And if not, why did they start doing it? Uh, they started about 10 years ago. Um, it's getting more and more sophisticated. Um, it's getting more and more um, active on these aftermarkets. More and more brokerage firms allow after hours trading. Um, and uh, that's what we got. Uh, Jake, Bruce, I won't be in class tomorrow. Let me know if I miss any assignments. Hopefully my covered call won't be one of them. I'll be back on Monday morning from the USA. Jake, no problem. Thank you, buddy. <clears throat> Nicholas, who wears short shorts? I wear short shorts. Um, <clears throat> Farmer T. What's up, you big ballers? Uh, John Clancy, has GameStop approached you about advertising? Uh, forehead tattoo, you know, something like that. Uh, no, not yet. Uh, no. Uh, Carlos Bruce, could you explain share dilution a little? I isn't it bad? Um, how did the news pop AMC up when it just gives the shorts more ability to cover and shorts more? I think AMC had a couple of three things happening all at the same time. They announced that they raised money, which is a positive. They've got 400 something more million dollars. The Dow. And the S&P and the NASDAQ were all way oversold the last three days. And so the market was due for a rebound, and it happened. So the mood was good. And then the CDC comes out with the ruling that if you've been fully inoculated, you don't need to wear a mask anymore in the United States to most places. That uh, Those three things really moved the stock for AMC because AMC being a movie theater chain, uh that's good news uh when you don't have to wear a mask in a movie theater or if the restrictions of mask wearing is easing up more people will feel comfortable to go out 
And if they go out, they might go to a movie. Good news for AMC. Let's be real. If GameStop shoots up near 400 to 500 like before, it's not going to go much higher. Uh, people will be paper handling, selling. But I believe floor is $21 million. There you go. Okay, Jane, uh, Nicholas, Hotbed, hope they make a comeback. Eric, I sold one $8 AMC call expiring Friday. And I bought one more GameStop share up 211 GameStop shares. I, I bought one call. You bought a call for eight dollars expiring Friday, and I bought one more GameStop share, um, up to to, to, uh, to two and eleven GameStop share. Okay, way to go, way to go. Okay, there you go, Dan. Off to the gym. Thanks for playing. Hype for tomorrow. Let's go, Farmer. What's up, uh, Jane? Uh, work out for me. Uh, with the money I made today, I can afford a taco. Woohoo! Awesome day. I love seeing this. Just starting out. Lots of fun days ahead. Uh, uh, Jay Ray saying, Dan, how you doing, Socrates? That's a more taco than I can afford. I'm showing 1277 close on AMC. Uh, you could be right, uh, depending on the device you're using, which brokerage firm you're going with. Uh, <clears throat> GameStop right now, 163.28. Looks like it's coming back up a bit, uh, down 157 now on the aftermarket. Uh, Lance, uh, possibly some gamma gamma love tomorrow. Funky J, thanks, Uncle B. You betcha, Funky J. Thank you for being here. Uh, loving this. We're having so much fun today. Never a dull moment. Uh, AMC right now, 12.55, close at 12.76, down now 21 cents. That's what we got. We have thumbs ups now of 1,300, 1,300 thumbs ups. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, all of you. Uh, welcome one, welcome all to the show, the channel. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, we love getting new subscriptions in. Love to build that number. Uh, thank you for the thumbs ups on these uh, live shows and also on my regular videos. Thank you, all of you. Check out my video last night, How to Write Call Options. Check it out if you get the chance. Um, and if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me, let me know. Tell me uh, you'd like to get together with a one-on-one. -on -one. Saturdays and Sundays is when I do these, and um, we'll set you up. We're booked this weekend, but uh, next weekend, I think I have one or two openings left next weekend, and then the weekend after that, we're filling it up now as well welcome one welcome all thank you everybody for you being here jen how you doing how's it going oh jen's got her head headphones on she can't hear what i'm saying hi oh. hi oh how are you doing you doing right how was your uh, how was your uh, hammock out there hammock's good listening to my favorite radio podcast right on it's all good, man. right on it's all good man it's all good <laughs> Yeah, man, it's all good. Uh, beautiful stuff, Jen. Uh, we're having a good time here. An okay day today. Well, we ended up here on the uh, GameStop at the 165, uh, up $20. And then we dropped the 160 something, 162 on the aftermarket. Now we're back to 165, it looks like, on the aftermarket again. So, uh, very interesting how that's working. Uh, and we've got over 1,300 thumbs ups now on the uh, thumbs ups counter. So, that's pretty good uh amc was up uh, was up today two dollars 44 cents to 12.76 very good we're 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 we're, we're looking for good times uh get, everyone's getting excited for tomorrow it's friday option expiry day we don't know what's happening after the hours tomorrow, uh, tomorrow? well that's what we're wondering is there going to be a what uh oh uh oh <laughs> oh no it's the big one tomorrow Tomorrow's the big one. Oh, my gosh. A big day tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. It's a big day tomorrow. Uh, she gave me the look. 45 so. years. 45? Is that? Is it? No, 40. No, no, no. 40. 40. 40 oh. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. 45 years tomorrow. 45 years. The the uh, Uncle Bruce. each other in the biblical way. Yeah. The, the Uncle Bruce Jen get together happened 45 years ago. Tomorrow. Oh my gosh! Uh, can you believe it? Forty-five years. Oh my gosh! What did so, you get me? Well, well, I, I got you a beer, so we can code. She got me a beer. <laughs> we can sell you good to Ten of my shares have a minimum floor of four hundred twenty million dollars because all the lives ruined in the past by blatant manipulation. There you go. <laughs> thank you, Merkel. Go AMC. That was a great video you posted last night, Uncle Bruce. Thank you, thank you, Uncle Bruce, for all that you do. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Renny. Bruce, you better clear your schedule. Uh, these stocks pop up here. Israel is at war. India's burning bodies. Taiwan crashed. U.S. commercial RE will implode the banks. And U.S. stocks go up. Okay, see you tomorrow. I love the Grim Reaper. Ah, there you go. 
Another fun day tomorrow, guaranteed. Oh my gosh, uh, we love the Uncle Bruce, uh, Saul Goodman. Is Jen listening to my favorite murder? All the women in my life love it. I'm out of here. Catch you later. Thanks, Uncle B. Fun, y'all. A blurry face, thumbs ups, Uncle uh, Wally. Hey, Uncle Bruce, you know that people are that are capable of counting cards are banned from Vegas casinos. Why is it that different for hedgers that base their sole decisions on nothing more? Then the same thing, I wonder, I wonder. Later, Lance. Uh, yes, have a great evening, Tar Boys. Tomorrow's the 14th. We'll be red like Valentine's Day. Gotta love Friday. Lance, uh, thank you, Uncle Bruce. Wish I had found Uncle Bruce before January, but I've been here for two months as a member, and I listen daily, says Farmer T. Why are the biotech and pharma stocks getting hammered as of late? I do not know. Eddie, 45 years married. Oh, my gosh. Uh, anniversary tomorrow. Happy anniversary, Bruce and Jen. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, congrats, Bruce and Jen. That means they did it. Ah, holy moly, 45 years. Happy anniversary. Oh, my God. Congrats on 45 years. Wow, congrats, you guys. Dang, Auntie Jen has put up the, with Uncle B for 45 <laughs> years. The other way around. It's the other way around. If the car in the Tim Hortons parking lot is a rockin', don't come a knockin'. Uh, Glory, happy anniversary, Uncle Bruce and Auntie Jen. Oh, anniversary donations during libation hour. Look out. Wow, congrats, Wally's. Oh, wow. I think I will never be able to beat that 45 years at this pace. J. Ray, it's Uncle Bruce's anniversary. Uh, you guys have been married as long as I've been alive. Bruce and Jen, don't look a day over 30. Time travelers confirmed. Uh, Derek, uh, she got you a comic book. Hope you like it. Happy anniversary. I got her some sports cards. Ah, oh, yay. I love happy anniversaries. You, hoo Dan, you have to make the sandwiches tomorrow. Wally, it's your anniversary. Great song by Tony. T Tony, Tony, Tony. Oh, my God. Uh, Uncle Bruce is getting something tomorrow. Oh, gorilla. Uh, uh, Nabu, uh, $5. Hi, Bruce. Sold a covered GameStop call today to buy more GameStop. Seems like a good strategy. There you go. J. Ray, happy uh, Annie, uh, Uncle B and Jen. Um, but Gregory, what is Jen's favorite podcast? What is Jen's favorite podcast? Uh, today I was listening to Because News. She likes listening to Because News. That's a CBC thing, isn't it? Uh, yeah, she loves listening That's to Because News. Half an hour, because news, CBC Radio. Uh, thanks, Jane Doe from Rennie. Observe thyself. Bye, Lance. Have a good one, Carlos. Hello there. Bruce is making Jen a bagel tomorrow. Uh, and all kinds of other emojis. Rennie, for now, thumbs. Bruce, what are you going, what What are we doing after GameStop? <laughs> it ain't done yet. Bama, well, I'm panting after this afternoon's activities. Time for a shower, says Bama, babe. It's been a hot one, that's for sure, Mama Babe. Uh, Wally's World, same thing you got, Jen, for Mother's Day, Bruce. What goes around comes around. Funky J Bell, congrats. Uh, first time using emojis, always on my cell now on comp. Um, I'm telling, Auntie, uh, observe. Um, Jane Doe, awesome pick. Um, love you, Uncle B, Auntie Jen. Happy anniversary. See you in the morning. The casinos are the ultimate card counters. Congrats. Uh, it says always gaming. Um, Dan. Do you get to choose where Jen hits you or on your anniversary? Do you get to, you get to like point where, where she hits you? Jane, uh, dangerously, thank you, ma'am. Uh, AB, 45 years? Happy anniversary? A good number of countries don't stick together that long. Happy for you both. Uh, congrats, Uncle B and AJ, uh, Auntie Jen. Uh, happy anniversary, Bruce and Jen. Dan Hammer, oh, laughing out loud, laughing out loud. Neat. Happy anniversary. Cheers. Um, yep, yeah, uh, 1976, uh, May the 14th, 1976, Friday night. Mm, that was a Friday. This is Friday, too. Look at that. Ooh, wee. What are we going to do Friday night tomorrow night? Oh, my gosh. Nothing near what we did Friday night 45 years ago. I don't think so. Uh, that was, oh, my God. There was drinking. Oh, there was drinking. Um, laugh out loud. I love how much Bruce calls Bama Bay Bama like Obama. Bama Bay. Bama Bay. Bernie, GameStop hasn't left yet. Just the tip. Oh, my gosh. Where are we at right now? 164. 165.11, actually. 167. It's 167 on the aftermarket, actually. Uh, up 250 right now on uh, GameStop. 167 in the aftermarket. All right. Um, you are part of my daily life, so it'll be nice to know what we are doing. Berlin love. You two are always welcome, says Always Gaming. Thank you so much. We can't wait to go back to Berlin someday. Um, OD, OT, you're all messing around. Um, we've got Disney earnings top estimates, but stock falls on streaming slowdown, says the headline. Are you going to have a romantic candle lit dinner with bagels and caffeine-free Diet Coke and wine glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Observe dangerously story. Um, Anti-PC uh, should laugh aloud. It's been great. <laughs> Carlos, 
uh, just the tip is my favorite game. Eddie, tomorrow night, Creston, it's going to rock. Uh, Colin laughing out loud. AB, what stock would Obama buy? Uh, glad for an update on GameStop. Jane Doe, Waffle Raptor, AMC is back up to 12.69 after hours. Um, Anti, uh, it cracks me up every time. Uh, 166.39 on uh, GameStop. And on the uh, AMC after hours, it's 12.82 up a nickel now. Closed at 12.77, it's now 12.82. So AMC is up in the after hours. So is GameStop. IPOE is uh, on the after hours. Um, uh, can I get it to work as up as well? It's up 14 cents to 14.75. It's ahead as well. There you go. Uh, some of these games, some of these stocks are moving higher in the aftermarket right now. How about that? Uh, he would be uh, he would be Netflix, of course. Uh, Anti says buy only 29 years to go to meet your record, says J Ray. There you go. Only 24. It, it, time flies when you're having fun. GameStop uh, tapping into esports could be MLB or NBA money in the future. Um, Eric Bruce, it's Bama as an Alabama girl. Just wanted to help you out a little bit. Bama, babe. Uh, prediction game stopped $1,800. Observe thyself. I'm married to GameStop. There you go. Uh, well done. Well said. Well said. Uh, there you have it. Uh, there's there's the deal. Uh, wow. Holy macaroni. Uh, Carlos, so did you go to the Cayman Islands for 45 years ago? No, nope, we got to the Cayman Islands in 1998. 1998, we moved to the Cayman Islands, and we were there for a couple of years. Cody, Bruce, when GameStop passes 1,000, you have to drink champagne and say inappropriate things. Uh, David, lots of Yoko yodeling tomorrow night. Oh, no, nudge, nudge. Uh, that was insane yesterday. Uh, we have, by the way, for the thumbs-ups now, we are at uh, 1,300 thumbs-ups on the day. Thank you so much for these thumbs-ups, everybody. Pretty cool bean stuff. We love it. Uh, 1270 on AMC on the aftermarket right now. Um, and it has been one heck of a ride here today uh, all over the place. What a ride. Thank you, everybody. Uh, waffles are my mistress, says Waffle Raptor. Uh, <clears throat> 166.10 on GameStop, down uh, up 160 on the aftermarket. 166.95, up 245 on the aftermarket. We're jumping around a little bit here. Uh, waiting for news about a new CEO. Will we hear one soon? Wondering if we're going to get that release. Uh, we're curious to know who could, it could be. And uh, we don't know yet. We're waiting. Uh, nothing new today. No rumors. Nothing. Waffle. Gregory, uh, watch out, Creston45. Bruce and Jen mean business. Um, BW, USAF. Um, Bruce, here's a couple things that happened the year you were married. Uh, Z, the Concord entered service. Apple Computer was formed, and great and powerful was, and the Shuttle Enterprise was unveiled. Uh, the Shuttle Enterprise was unveiled. How about that? Hmm. 1976. Um, in 76, what happened in 76? Uh, I'm trying to remember uh, what else What else happened in 1976. Well, the Olympics, uh, the uh, Montreal Olympics took place in 1976. And uh, I remember I remember uh, Jenner, Bruce Jenner, won the decathlete. Uh, Caitlin is now known as Caitlyn Jenner. Um, and um, um, the boxer, Sugar Rain Leonard, won gold uh, in Montreal at 76. Who was the heavyweight for boxing for the Americans? Hagler uh, Hearns. No, no, not Hagler or Hearns. The heavyweight for the Olympics was, uh, it wasn't Trevor Burbick, uh, but there was a, I think he won the gold as well. If I Or was it the, no, Teo Stevenson maybe for Cuba won the gold, wasn't it? I think it was Teo Stevens Stevenson, deadly boxer. One punch, you're gone. Um, um, I don't remember. A uh, lot of lot of things happened in '76. Um, yes, uh, we got together in '76. What can I say? Um, the best Colin, the best Joyce gas shortage in the '70s, '72, '73 shortages. Uh, Matthew Nadal, Nada Kamenichi, perfect ten in '76. That's right. Observe Davis, Eddie got that right. Um, Wally's uh, Wheaties box hero was Jenner. Yep, yeah, that's right. Uh, Carlos, Caitlyn Jenner isn't the isn't isn't that nice lady who won the men's decathlon? Um, uh, five years with my hundred percent Russian wife feels like forty five. Um, <laughs> observe Davis, Michael uh, John Tate, um, seventy six. Oh my gosh. Um, out Bagel family. I see you all in the morning. Um, who will I be tomorrow? No one is safe, says Jane Doe. Take care, Jane. 
uh bronze uh let's see <laughs> oh man um 1976 oh man we were i was driving a 1974 super beetle and uh, jen and i got together in may and by august the first we were living together um and uh we decided that we would live in uh, kitchener ontario for our first year together until i graduated uh college the next year and we plotted that we would be gone june the first we would uh, land in calgary on june the first uh or was it july the first when we then when did when did we land in calgary in 77 june or july one june one june the first, june the first. we landed in calgary june the first um and uh, i finished college in like uh, may and uh got my license my watchmaker license and all that and we had everything packed up and oh man we were, sc we were scrambling to get everything done but we did and uh we uh, sent uh i sent all my watchmaking tools to calgary i had boxes built by a carpenter that i hired I had to build a, these containers with two by fours and 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 uh, plywood to literally encapsulate i had two watch be repair benches he encapsulated both of them and we sent them with all of my watchmaking tools and everything uh, inside these boxes uh custom made through a cp rail we used the rail line and uh, i called cpr to pick up the boxes and they and i told them they're heavy and they brought a couple of boys over there uh that were pretty stout let me tell you they came and picked up this stuff from the basement of my father's music store and they had to bring these boxes up the steps they did it outside i couldn't believe how they did it but they had straps underneath the boxes around their shoulders and stuff they did it right uh wore and they wore construction boots the steel cap toes and everything and they did it unbelievable how they got those boxes in the uh, truck and the boxes arrived in calgary in perfect condition i was impressed and uh they had one guy they had one guy deliver the boxes to us and he did it i don't know how he did it. he put them on like a dolly and we brought the boxes into my uh into jennifer's uh father's garage and then uh we took the boxes apart inside the garage and uh, the wood we uh, we uh, tossed aside i'm not sure whatever happened to that wood if we ever reused it or not and then uh, i arranged um uh, we found an apartment to rent and we arranged movers to uh, move everything um we didn't carry this stuff we had movers move it and the watch uh, benches and all the materials and everything ended up in our apartment we had a two-bedroom apartment in calgary in 1977 25th floor looking out over the west and the north and saw the mountains every day and uh, we now had our own two-bedroom apartment in calgary alberta a year after uh, moving in together in uh, in kitchener and uh, now we were in calgary and that's where it kind of took off from there uh we've been going ever since unbelievable that first year was really something a lot of changes in our life but uh it was exciting and uh we were we were we were stoked up and uh it was pretty cool uh anyway there you go um uh, my god bruce knows boxing too i don't know if i want to play trivia with him he seems to know a little bit a lot princess anne uh, competed in the olympic equestrian events that's true Eddie, in that year, my military colonel sister was born. Um, a USA bicentennial. That's right. The bicentennial. George uh, 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 um, Carter was president. In, uh, became sorry. He he ran. Was running for president in seventy six. Ford was president in seventy six. That's right. And uh, Carter won the election. He was running the primaries in seventy six, and he was uh, sworn in office in January seventy seven. Uh, I remember that. Um, unbelievable uh by jane says red uh let's see i was born in 76 as matthew uh sugar ray leonard 1976 um asta mania my asta mayana how big of family goodbye jane um we will see 13 f's when margin calls mainstream media talking about margin calls seems suspect to me okay bruce uh it's story time 76 era stuffs anyone here for a uh, bingo uh the spirit of 76 how did you propose to jen Help me out here, Bruce. My Jen and I are coming up on 30. Really, remember, we did not get married in 1976. Uh, we uh, moved in together in sin in 1976. Um, we uh, we, uh, we uh, uh, moved in on, on August the 1st after having met in, uh, in May. We met each other on the 12th of May. Um, 
I believe it was. Yeah, we met each other on a Wednesday uh, for the first time, 12th of May. On the 14th of May, we got together. Um, and um, and then uh, within a few months, uh, by August 1, after a few events, we were in our own apartment. And we had a one-bedroom furnished apartment in Kitchener, Ontario, $173 a month in rent, something like that. And then we ended up in Calgary with a two-bedroom apartment. It was $373 a month for renting a two-bedroom apartment in Calgary. But the building we were in had a swimming pool and a, and a sauna, uh, underground heated parking. We really, it was, it was great. That was, a, that was a pretty neat move for, uh, for me. I'd never been in an apartment building before in a high rise uh, full time as a uh, living in one. Same thing with Jen. And uh, here we were in a, in a high rise up 24 at five floors. And uh, that was pretty neat, but right downtown Calgary. So all, you know, all the restaurants and everything else around us, but um you know we used to enjoy uh, grabbing the car and we'd go for a drive to the mountains and just drive around and enjoy banff and lake louise and and drive south of calgary to okotoks and high river and uh, black diamond and look around and really cool uh we'd go to different areas in calgary and see different venues and stuff it was it was a uh, it was an interesting time viking one landed on mars in 76 first spacecraft to land on mars and it broadcast a picture or two back. I was alive then, says Colin. It was uh, younger, but I was still alive. I'm bicentennial curious. Um, uh, laughing out loud. I'm passing out. Fun time. See you all tomorrow. Yoko, Don, Yoko Long. Uh, Cody, you take care. Eddie, uh, you sinners. Ah, yes, uh, Carlos. Good night. Um, see you all tomorrow. Jen's uh, fast. Jen's, Jen's fast. Bruce, um, how, uh, do, how do your trivia nights work? Is there a winner? Um, no, we don't have a contest or anything like that. It's just a hangout. And uh, we have a bunch of folks that show up on the other channel on Friday night on, on Traveling with Bruce. Sponsor members only for the trivia night and uh, get together at 7 o'clock Eastern time. And uh, I, I put together about five or six different trivia questions, multiple choice answers, bunch of answers per quiz. And then uh, I hit you with the questions and see how fast the results come in. Start giving out hints when needed and uh, we have a good time. And uh, it's a it's a really cool hangout. We enjoy each other's company. A lot of a lot of familiar faces every Friday night. The same gang gets together, so it's really cool. And uh, we do enjoy ourselves. And a number of you are starting to join us over there, which is great. And uh, we welcome you over to the other channel anytime. Wally's uh, ah together anniversary, not wedding anniversary. Yes, together anniversary. Excited for Friday to get here. See you later tomorrow. Uh, Wally, us too. Better to try before you buy. That's what my Jen tells me. Uh, J Ray Bama. Ba Ba uh, Colin, you should try giving away a cash prize. It can be a CA dollars, you know, but post the amounts in dong. Um, uh, Gary, I was 10 in 76. I still remember Valley Forge Fudge ice cream at 31 flavors for Bicentennial. I ate tons of that stuff. Gregory Allen trivia is great. Uh, yeah, Gregory is a regular over there. Uh, we have a good time. Uh, Wally's World is a regular. He's over there all the time for trivia as well. So, uh, yeah, more and more of you are showing up. For Trivia Night on Friday night, 7 o'clock Eastern on Traveling with Bruce, the other channel I have. And, of course, Mondays at 7 o'clock Eastern, it's the uh, Sponsor Member Hangout Show on Traveling with Bruce. Again, sponsor members. And then at 8 o'clock Monday night, it's an open live show on Traveling with Bruce. We talk about cruise ships and travel and whatever else and uh, have a lot of fun over there. We've got a whole bunch of people pop up over there. And we've been, I've been doing that show for years. That channel is now three and a half years old will be four years old this August uh, on uh, TWB. And uh, uh, you're all welcome to come over anytime you like there. Uh, 1976 Beatles associate Mal Evans was fatally shot by police amid a disturbance at his Los Angeles home. How sad is that? Uh, Wally's World Trivia is a riot. Yeah, we have a good time. <laughs> we do have a good time. Absolutely. Uh, 1976. Oh, my gosh. Yes, uh, that was something. Bruce sent, uh, sent you... Bruce, sent you told us how you and Jen did meet whenever it happened to the couple who was on the rocks that caused you both to meet. Um, whatever happened to the couple who was on the rocks that caused you both to meet. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah. Whatever happened to the couple. Oh, uh, so my best friend in high school uh, and then through my, you know, through until I moved for, away from Kitchener uh, until I was 21, he, my best buddy, um, he was going out with this gal and uh, uh, they were... Uh, uh, they uh, they uh, had to split up because her family moved to Calgary uh, in her senior year of high school, I think it was. And so uh, he and her parted company. 
and um, uh, she lived in Calgary. He lived, of course, in Kitchener. And uh, um, they didn't break up, actually. They kind of uh, said goodbye to each other still as boyfriend and girlfriend. But it didn't take long for him to uh, be attracted to others. And uh, and um, not sure what happened to her over in Calgary. But nonetheless, um, uh, the gal decided to come back to Kitchener for the next summer. And uh, as a matter of fact, she moved out. Uh, they graduated high school. She moved out to Calgary. She started university. That's where she met Jennifer. And then she came to Calgary to spend the summer. And uh, she came into my dad's music store one night and said, hey, Bruce, um, I'm back in town. I said, oh, how are you doing? And she says, I'm here for the summer. I've got my sister's apartment. She's going traveling for the summer. And um, uh, I've got a favor to ask of you. I said, what do you need? She said, I need you to be a chaperone. I said, a chaperone? Why? She said, well, I have a girlfriend of mine who I've met in Calgary, a university friend. She's coming out here in, in about a week or so. She's flying out. She's going to be here for two weeks, and I'm going to show her around, and I want you to be a chaperone. And I thought, wow, uh, does she fool around? And she says, well, yeah. I mean, she's had a boyfriend for six years, but she's got a boyfriend. I said, oh, great. Thanks. I appreciate the, uh, you know, offering me this wonderful opportunity to, you know, hang around with your girlfriend who has a boyfriend in Calgary. Thank you. Um, in any event, uh, the next Wednesday, I knew that uh, Jen was going to be in town. I'd never met her. Didn't know they were. Her. But my buddy, uh, my best friend, um, he finds out that guess who's in town? Uh, your girlfriend. Uh, the girlfriend that you actually didn't break up with that still thinks that you are the boyfriend and girlfriend because she left town and she's been looking forward to coming back to spend the whole summer with you here in her sister's apartment. Uh, she's got it all figured out. She's got the place. You can hang out all you want with her. You don't have to worry about hanging out, trying to get it on at your parents' house or hey, uh, but you now have another girlfriend. Uh, oops, what are you going to do? And he said, you got you to come with me, man. You, you got to come with me. I got to tell her, uh, but you got to come with me. And I'm going, oh, great. Now I got to go with this guy to this apartment to uh, be there when he breaks up with this girlfriend of his that is no longer his girlfriend, but she thinks is a boy. And then I'm going to meet Jen at the same time. Oh, I'm in the middle of a pickle here. Oh, my God. Of course, Jennifer knows from nothing. She has no idea what's going on. And, of course, the girlfriend that came back doesn't know either that there's this whole drama about to happen on this Wednesday night. So I uh, I come to the uh, apartment with my buddy. And uh, I come in first because he won't. He, he walks behind me. He's afraid. He's, he's terrified. He's behind me. He's just cowering behind me. He's so nervous. What's going to happen? He's got to tell this gal that he's no longer going to be his, her boyfriend. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, so I meet, I meet Jennifer. Hi, how are you? And the two, the two uh, lovebirds, they go off to the bedroom to have a chat. Mm -hmm. And she was hoping there would be more than a chat, and he's just going to have a chat. <laughs> well, they were in there for about, oh, 45 minutes or so, and uh, they came out, and uh, we got to go. <laughs> it's time to go, because... I'm the driver. I'm the designated driver here. I got to drive him home now. Uh, so uh, in any event, um, <clears throat> the girlfriend comes out and says to me, uh, by the way, on Friday night, the two of us, the two gals, we're going out Friday night. Uh, we're going to be at the cabaret, and we want you to uh, to join us. Uh, come on over there after you finish work, and then uh, as, be, be uh, Jennifer's uh, uh, chaperone. And I said, I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'm going to school. I got to come home from school. I got to go to work. I got to close the store at nine o'clock and I'll let you. So anyway, that was that. So I left with my buddy and we went to uh, we went to the Timmy Hortons to have a coffee so we could have a chat because he needed to tell me what happened in that bedroom and what was going on. And uh, uh, what ended up happening was that they did break up. Of course, he broke up with her, but she wasn't all that devastated she was upset mad angry and i'm sure she would somewhat teary eyed for a while but by friday night when i met her <laughs> she was over this guy and she was moving on and uh, there were a lot of men uh, to go to be to move on with and so she was fine and uh, for the rest of the summer she had uh, plenty of fun uh, she was hanging out in her sister's apartment the whole time uh, Jennifer and I were there as well, uh, fairly often, obviously, because Jen was staying there. Um, and uh, it turned out that my my buddy, 
Uh, he had his gal, and they ended up getting married. Uh, they got married the, the, the later that year, and I was the best man uh, for that wedding. And then uh, he and her, uh, they had a child, and uh, then they had, I can't remember if they had a second. They had one for sure. But unfortunately, about three years or four years into their marriage, they broke up. They, they got a divorce. And he ended up remarrying, marrying another gal, um, and they lasted for about eight or ten years. And they had, I believe, three, maybe four, because they had twins. They may have had two children, then twins. I'm not sure. And then they got a divorce after ten or twelve years. Um, and he remarried his first wife. Uh, they got remarried, and they've been together ever since. And that's got to be now twenty plus years. Uh, that's the story about my buddy. Now, uh, the gal, um, she ended up going back to Calgary at the end of the summer, finished her university. She uh, met us. We met her, Jen and I, in Calgary when we moved the next summer to Calgary. Um, and uh, she uh, said to us, uh, I've met this guy, and um, I want you to meet this guy. He's, he's kind of a new boyfriend, and he's a quirky kind of a guy, uh, but I just can't I just can't let this guy go. I can't. I, there's something about him. I can't shake him. It's not like this isn't like a get together. This is more than that. And so uh, we met this uh, gentleman um, and uh, he was 10 years my senior. Uh, hell of a nice guy. Great guy. And uh, uh, he and I and Jennifer, we hit it off instantly. We, we all three hit it off. And the four of us uh, were, uh, were like a weekend get together kind of a couple. And it would seem that every second weekend we would somehow meet up with these guys, uh, maybe for a Friday night dinner, and and uh, and just uh, hang out a little bit, uh, and maybe go to our place for some drinks or their place, um, or we get uh, we'd come over to their house on a Saturday night, um, and maybe in the summertime have a barbecue bite, bite or or on a Sunday we'd go over, and then this couple. They, uh, they bought a house and they decided to add an addition to their house. And so for a year, there was a, there was, it was a construction zone as they were living in this place. And we were, Jen and I would help out with some stuff. And I remember helping my buddy doing some work in the, on the house and pounding some nails. But he and some contractors put this on there because that's what he lived for. Um, but unfortunately, once the house had the addition done and it was all finished, that was, uh, there was nothing left to do. And they were not going to have children together, from what I could tell. It wasn't in the cards. He was older now. Uh, but this gentleman um, uh, changed my life because uh, I was a broker now. And uh, he introduced me to a fellow who uh, was subletting some office space in his accounting firm's office. And uh, I got to meet this gentleman from Toronto who was opening up a brokerage company in Calgary. He was opening up his own brokerage firm and he wanted business partners and uh, he introduced me to him and we had a chat and he said to me, uh, why don't you join my company? Why don't you buy in? You can be a partner in this brand new firm. I'll teach you everything you don't already know. And I thought this is the cheapest university course I will ever take about the entire securities business from every angle of the business. And uh, I joined up with this guy uh, three months later. I was a broker with him and I was the desk trader, I was the uh, receptionist, I was a cage manager, a uh, stockbroker, a uh, financial advisor. Uh, he did all these functions and we were two busy guys. And then we added staff to the firm. We started adding people and um, I, I stayed with him for a couple of years, about two or three years. And um, uh, I parted company with him after the firm. The firm reached about 12 people, 14 people and at that point. I moved on. Uh, the, the The economy was really failing in the province, really failing, and uh, business was going downhill. And I, I left the company, and uh, moved on. I joined and ended up joining up another firm, a national firm that I became eventually a branch manager. Of. But my buddy introduced me to this guy, and uh, that's how I became a partner in a brokerage house. Um, and we, Jennifer and I, uh, even after the divorce was through, uh, we didn't see our girlfriend anymore. I, I never saw her anymore. Uh, she had gone off into her world, and yet Jennifer and I and our and this gentleman uh, remained very close friends for years, for at least another seven or eight years. Uh, we were close until finally he moved on. He started getting overseas working gigs. He was working for a company. He left his accounting company and he became an in-house auditor accountant 
of a large drilling company, oil and gas drilling rig kind of company. They had international operations and they would send him to Indonesia to oversee the finances there. Then they would send him to Hungary. They would send him to Czechoslovakia. They would send him to uh, around the world. He, he was everywhere and he loved it. He loved, he wanted to travel. He loved traveling. He sold his house. He uh, sold his stuff. Uh, he parked his car in our garage in, in one of the houses we rented for three years. He parked it with us and uh, he, uh, he uh, had us keep his dining table and everything for him uh, until eventually he came back and then he took his stuff back again. But it was a few years after he returned, we lost touch with him and we, we haven't been together with him since. And this has been now 20 years. And so, you know, how things evolve, you know, the, the gears mesh for a while with some friends and then they move on. And so uh, I don't know where my where that gal is. I don't know where he is necessarily. I'm guessing they're somewhere in Calgary. Um, and Jen and I are still together. And there you go. And there's the story of whatever happened to that girl and that guy that introduced us and together. And that's how it worked out. And we just keep on going. And uh, everyone else has changes, 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 changes everywhere else. That's life, isn't it? Uh, quite interesting. Uh, yep, traveling with Bruce in our family room. Getting too drunk uh, during power hour game to join in the evening. Um, Obama, babe. Have a good one. Um, Wally's, oh, you need to do trivia night. Um, it is a uh, hilarious fun. Good way to end the week on trivia for sure. Um, it's always fun to end the, the week on trivia night uh, on the other channel. We do have a good time over there. Uh, hi, Peep says, Ashley, how you doing? I think I'll take it easy during the power hour and try to make it. Uh 164.72, where are we at now? 164.70 on GameStop in the aftermarket. Nothing going on. When Uncle Bruce is rattling off people's real first names, you'll know. Just cool stuff. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Hello, everybody. Story time. Uh, I haven't taken a real vacation in 20 years, but I still remember what it feels like with traveling with Bruce. Um, let's see. I just had to hit the gym and get some work done. Um, and if you have, if you haven't heard about, I caught it, it tomorrow is the Bruce and Jen's 45th anniversary, not wedding. I think of meeting or getting together, uh, let her rip. Uh, that's, uh, that's a shame. Got to treat yourself uh, overdue. Just fighting gravity from taking over. Uh, let's see, 45 years winning. Um, uh, let's see, one, once you hit 40, uh, strange things start to happen. Um, <laughs> uh, Oh man, uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, got got rid of it. I uh, got rid of it when I moved on my own. Eight eighteen. Yep, had one of those things. Remember, it was red and blue. Uh, whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Lover Boy. Remember Lover Boy in seventy six. Um, let's see. Uh, that was before. This is before. Uh, was before lover boy this is before mtv mtv was 84 we got together in 76 we even had didn't even have mtv yet um let's see uh mm, mm, mm. uh <laughs> yep someone said the gamestop announced confirmation of e-gaming sports comp today uh they put together their own twitter page for that uh mike you take care michael um let's see um Let's go on. Let's go on. Uh, Bruce, I missed the first hour, and I'm not sure if this has been brought up yet, but did you cover the new emails from IPOE requiring action from us regarding our shares? I did not, but I have been covering people mentioning they were voting and voting and voting for this takeover. They're doing it, uh, so I know all about that. Um, so there you go. Uh, yep, uh, those are days. 76, 77, 80. Oh, my gosh, I remember those first five years Jen and I were together. We ended up moving from a two-bedroom apartment in downtown Calgary, which was maybe about 850 square feet. We ended up moving into an apartment where I was making good money now as a broker. I was making some really good cash. And I got my BMW, and then we moved into an apartment building, into an apartment, two-bedroom for just the two of us, 1,500 square feet, almost double the size. Our master bedroom was 800 square feet. <laughs> That was pretty awesome. And that building had everything. It had a steam room. It had a sauna. It had an exercise room. It had a uh, it had a racquetball court. It had a billiard room. It had a party room. It was 27 stories, 28 stories. We were on the 25th floor and a beautiful view, big unit, a thousand a month rent in 1970, uh, 1979, 80, a thousand a month rent. 
And we were in that building for three years. Um, and then we ended up moving to a house. Uh, we ended up renting a house uh, out of town in a place called Redwood Meadows uh, in Alberta. And the land that the house was sitting on was on Indian reservation land that had been leased to this community for 99 years. And we were in this house and I think the rent was supposed to be a thousand a month or something like that. And the landlord, our, our, our landlord, he was moving with his family to British Columbia and uh, he was in the mining business and he got a job. And we moved into this house as the economy was really in the dumps in Calgary, like Alberta, really bad. And we found out uh, very quickly that this gentleman had bought this house that we were in. He had bought the house for $280,000, maybe $270,000 at the height of the market. It was a, it was a four bedroom house. It, it was a downstairs, was a living room, dining room, kitchen and rec room area. And then the garage, of course. Then there was a basement, which had uh, was an unfinished basement, basically. Uh, and then we had the uh, upstairs, which had four bedrooms uh, with an ensuite bedroom from the master and then another bathroom for the rest of the house. Jen and I rented this house for a thousand a month because it was on the golf course. There was a golf course there. And we we're on a golf course and it was nice and quiet. And we thought we would move out there. And uh, we found out within two months that he had bought the house for 270,000 or something like that. And he was not making his mortgage payments. And we got a call from the, uh, uh, from the banker. We got a call from the banker that he had a mortgage through he had two mortgages on this house, a first and a second. And uh, he, he hadn't been making his mortgage payments for months and they were leaving the house. They basically abandoned the house, but he pulled a fast one. He rented it to me. And he was expecting me to make monthly payments to this guy, even though he wasn't paying on the house um, and he wasn't paying his taxes and he wasn't paying his, he wasn't going to pay uh, his uh, power and the gas because they were leaving, but didn't tell me that. And so uh, we found out um, two months in, we got a call from the banker. Uh, we're foreclosing on the house. Uh, just so you know, we're foreclosing on the house and I thought oh my gosh what's going to happen so I called my my best one of my best buddies had a couple of buddies who were lawyers and I said hey uh what's going to happen and the lawyer said well um theoretically you're supposed to keep paying the landlord the money and I said really that guy isn't even paying the he's not even paying the mortgage which means we're going to get kicked out he said yeah you're going to get kicked out but you'll only get kicked out by the banker the landlord isn't going to kick you out right now because he's collecting money from you um, but the banker will kick you out after they get the house. So, you know, don't, don't be surprised if the house gets, it gets, uh, picked up by the banker and then you're, you're, uh, going to be evicted. They'll give you 30 days and all that kind of stuff. You know, they'll, they'll give you notice. I mean, they can't just come in and show up and say, get the hell up. Okay. And he said, what do you care? Uh, the city of Calgary is in the doldrums. Alberta's in the doldrums. Everything's for rent. There's no, no problem. You finding a place to rent. I said, that's true. We just don't want to move again. We just moved. So um, um, I said to my, my lawyer, I said, well, what if I don't pay the landlord? What if I don't pay this guy? He says, well, um, if you don't pay him, um, he could evict you. I said, so wh why would he evict me? He said, well, he'll evict you if he thinks he can rent it to somebody else. But if he can't rent it to anybody else, is he really going to go through all the motions to try to get rid of you? And he's got to give you like you know, if you don't pay for like three months, then he can take remedies. He might need to hire a lawyer to get rid of you. And I said, he's not going to do that. This guy's not paying his mortgage. This guy isn't going to, he said, well, that's the risk you're taking. But in the meantime, you know, you're doing whatever you're doing. I said, okay, well, we'll see what happens. So in the meantime, I thought, you know what? I'm not going to pay rent to this guy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be ending up, if I want to stay here and this takes six or eight months, there's a possibility that this house could be foreclosed on by a whole bunch of creditors. The uh, the area tax bill will be up, and uh, we'll have to see what happens here. So I decided uh, we're not going to make we're not going to pay at all. We're not going to pay rent. We'll pay the power bill, gas bill. Uh, we'll pay taxes. We'll up we'll keep up the uh, the house, of course. With the, we'll do the lawn. I mean, you know, we're still going to take care of the house. We're living there, uh, but um, we'll see what happens. So um, I don't pay the rent. Uh, a week goes by and the rent check doesn't arrive. I get a call 
from the landlord. He says, hey, listen, uh, uh, is everything okay down there? Uh, uh, I said, yeah, we're hanging in there. He said, well, I didn't, I didn't get your rent check. Anything going on? I said, yeah. I said, you had, you had mentioned that uh, there was an issue with your banker. He said, yeah, I know. I said, well, I, just, you know, I got a call from the banker. He goes, oh. I said, the banker, uh, the banker's in notifying us that uh, they're foreclosing on this place and we're going to have to, we're, we're now looking for another place is what I said. He said, oh, okay, okay, well, you know, you, you talk to them about it and it'll all figure. I said, okay, well, thanks anyway. And then we hung up the phone. That's the last time I talked to him. And uh, I didn't send him any more money. He didn't demand any money. He didn't kick us out, didn't want to kick us out. He, he just washed his hands of it because they left the property. I told my lawyer what happened. And he said, well, you're in an interesting situation. He says, you're kind of in the middle of a thing. He says, right now, you know, you can just sit, you're, you're squatting, you know, you're squatting on it. Uh, wait for the banker to call you. I said, well, that's what I figure I'll do. I'll just wait for the banker to call me and see what happens. That was approximately October of the of that year, the October of, I would think it was like October 81, maybe 1981. And, um, and so we didn't pay rent. Uh, so we, we, we were now just paying the, you know, utilities and, uh, and upkeep. And then we would get the annual, annually, we'd get the tax bill would come in. And uh, I think we got, I think it came to the house, if I try, I'm trying to recall. And I think it was like 500 a year at the, in those days. It wasn't a lot of money because, again, it was an Indian reservation thing. I don't even remember how this worked. There may not have been a tax bill. I can't remember. Uh, in any event, um, a year went by. A whole year went by and nothing happened. In the meantime, <clears throat> the real estate all over Alberta was crashing, crashing because the oil prices had crashed to 10 bucks a barrel back in 1980. And it was just, you know, mayhem. Everything just crashed, crashed, crashed. 80, 81, 82 was bad. Another year goes by. Nothing happened. Nothing. And the houses all around us were for sale. There were like there were 80 houses in the community that we lived in. And I bet you 30 were always for sale, always for sale. And Calgary, we were commuting in every day, 50, 20 miles every way, each direction. And every day, every community had for sale signs everywhere. Uh, houses that used to be 180 grand were now 80,000. Houses that were 240,000 were now 140,000. The house that we were in, this $270,000 once upon a time house was valued at maybe $130,000 upside down. The mortgage on it was over 200 I mean, on the, the two mortgages. So it was just, it was just carnage. Eh? So I find out from my lawyer, my buddy, he calls me up once in a while and says, I got some news for you about your house. I said, well, wh what's that? He says, I know the lawyer. I know who the lawyer is that has your file. I said, oh. He said, you have nothing to worry about. I said, really? He said, this guy is incompetent. He says, apparently, he is handling the files for all of these foreclosures for this one trust company that has all of these dead mortgages, of which your guy is one of them. He has files on his desk in his credenza. He's got like 500 foreclosures he's working on, 500 of them. You're not going to hear from him for a while. I said, it's been two years. He says, you're not, it's going to be a while yet. Three and a half years. Three and a half years rent-free. I get a call from the trust company. And they're asking us, um, um, uh, are, you, are you living in the house such and such? Oh, yes, we are. I said, are you, uh, do you know so-and-so? He tells me the landlord name. He said, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's in, uh, he's in so-and-so in British Columbia. Yeah, yeah. He's, he says, um, um, is that guy um, collecting rent from you? I said, well, he's want, he wants me to pay every month. Uh, I said, I don't think he's making payments. He said, oh, no, he's not. He's not making payments to us. Don't pay him any more rent. I said, okay. <laughs> I won't pay him any more rent. Uh, we are foreclosing on this house. We're still going through the files. Um, um, how is the house? Is everything okay? I said, the house is in perfect condition. Uh, we, we've been, uh, we, we, we kept maintained it perfectly. Uh, there's no issues on it. We did have one plumbing issue, but we got that repaired, paid it ourselves. Everything is fine here. Uh, very good, very good. He said, would you be interested in buying the house? I said, buying the house? Um, and he says, uh, we would be, uh, we'd be able to sell you. What we're doing is we're, we're closing on the first mortgage because we own the second mortgage. And we have more money on the line than the first mortgage. We're buying out the first mortgage so that we will get title to the house 
we can sell it to you. I said, well, I don't have a down payment. I'm, you know, I'm just a, I'm just a working guy trying to get by. And they said, we don't need a down payment. I said, oh, <laughs> they offered us the house about a month or two later, they came back to us and offered us the house for $115,000 to buy this house. $115,000. Uh, this has been 1984. The economy was still bad, really bad. Uh, there were houses for sale all around us and they were saying nothing down and we'll give you a mortgage. And it was at 13% interest. So we could have had this house for nothing down at 13% interest. We would now had to have paid about all in about 1600 a month plus everything else that we were carrying. And I, I thought, my God, I, I that, you know, we're, we're going to be into this house for 2000 a month to be in this thing. And, um, we were already looking to get out. Um, we thought, you know, we want to be back in town. Uh, we're tired of this 45 minute commute each direction every day through the winter and the summer. And we thought, why don't we uh, move back to Calgary? And um, this was, uh, this is when we ended up moving into downtown Calgary into a beautiful apartment building, a block from the other apartment building that we had had with that big unit. And we ended up in a unit at 1400 square feet for about 800 a month uh, with all the amenities, including a steam room and a jacuzzi and a pool in the summertime and everything else. And uh, we, we ended up saying, no, no, we're, we're not going to do it. And we, we arranged to move out of the apartment and uh, out of the house. And I said to the guy, I said, we're going to give you the house in absolute pristine condition. When we leave this house, it'll be spotless. There'll be no garbage here. There'll be nothing uh, broken here. It'll be in mint condition. Um, and I will personally deliver the keys to you. Uh, and then you can check the house out yourself. Uh, there's nothing wrong. So that's what we did. We ended up in the house for over three and a half years, rent free. And, uh, and it, it got us through the darkest years of finance in, in Calgary because it was bad. Everything was down, down, down. We were struggling to get by. Brokers were broke. Uh, we were, none of us were making money. And uh, we got through and we ended up in downtown Calgary uh, in a beautiful apartment. And the economy came around at that point. And at that point, I, I, I was rolling again uh, back in the brokerage biz and becoming a branch manager and making money again. And it all worked out. Uh, and the house, they ended up selling it, I'm sure, to somebody else. And uh, whoever bought that house made money on it, of course, uh, because even now it would be worth over $400,000. But, you know, you had to take that drive every day, uh, 25 miles each direction. And that just got to be too much when you were working as much as we did. But we did it. And that was my story on that house from way back when, but 13% interest. Oh my gosh, uh, those payments were crushing, just crushing. But that was way back when, uh, 1984 at 13%. Yeah, unbelievable. Sounds like my parents, 107 down, 13 and a quarter, 13 and a quarter. Yeah, those were the days. Anyway, what can I say? Uh, we moved out there with the BMW and we ended up selling it and paid off loans that we had. Jennifer and I were in debt all over the place. We had credit card debt, I had all kinds of tax problems from the early from the early 80s and issues. And we, we just we just focused on paying out our debts, paying off our debts. And went, so without paying that rent, we just gave that to the bank every month, pay down our debts. And uh, by 84, 85, we were virtually out of debt finally from those crazy late 70s and early 80s. That was nuts. Anyway, there you have it. Uh, we're done here. Uh, two hours on the air. I'm done. Folks, tomorrow it's Friday. Thank you so much uh, coming with me today, hanging out with me. Um, uh, Proposing nothing, Kane and I rented the new Michelle Pfeiffer film, French Exit, terrible film, but we thought you'd be amused to hear that I've seen in the ship's morgue. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, see you tomorrow morning, uh, first thing in the morning before the market opens. Let's see what happens with GameStop and AMC and IPOE. GameStop at 163, down a buck 50 on the aftermarket, only 90,000 traded. No news on the aftermarket. Let's see if there's any news, news tomorrow. IPOE now, 14.79 up 18 cents on the aftermarket. We'll take that. That's a little better. Uh, AMC on the aftermarket is right now 12.14, down, uh, down 63 cents, unfortunately. It's just not catching a break here, uh, but it had a pretty good day today. Let's see how it does tomorrow. But in the meantime, guys, have a wonderful evening. Get some rest. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll, need, we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll talk to you about some more stuff. We'll have fun tomorrow night after the market close, I'm sure. Let's hope we have a big day tomorrow as well. We'll just keep it going. In the meantime, thank you. I love story time. Uh, Red Ginger Snaps. I am Florida Man checking in.
John Van, thank you guys so much. Uh, have a pleasant evening. We'll catch you tomorrow. Bye for now from Kristen. See you guys.